All right, mic check. Seems to be doing good. Holy shit, I have not I have not played Yu-Gi-Oh in a hot minute. I guess I got back into it yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah i'm I'm hoping that I won't be too bad. I'm gonna be doing a lot of solo mode because I like the the different archetypes. Oh, I haven't actually switched screens. This is classic me, oh man, <laughs> holy shit, anyways, hi everyone. Happy belated birthday, I guess. <laughs> Man, I was actually hoping to stream yesterday and stuff came up I really couldn't, so I hope it's okay. <laughs> oh man. I gotta I gotta thank Hi Ho Neko for the Wii's emote. Unfortunately, I like it animated and for some reason Twitch just said, Hey, we're not gonna we're not letting you have it. I don't know why. It just says I can't. At least not yet. It's pending. I don't know why it's taken so long, to be completely honest. Oh man. <laughs> I can't wait to actually unlock follower emotes. Those will be cool as hell. <laughs> Alright. Let's do the thing. And play some solo. I've done a lot of the normal stuff already. But there is like half of it in the new bits that I haven't done yet. So I'll be wrapping up all of this. Hopefully by the end of this stream. Oh yeah. Oh shit! Hi Tomo! How are you doing? Tomoshi! Oh my gosh. It's been a while. <laughs> I'm sorry I haven't been able to catch as many streams as I used to be able to but I, that's just time zone difference, honestly. Thank you. Thank you for the belated birthday wishes. Win this duel during my turn. First activate. Prepare for a link summon. Oh, so this is another link deck. Okay, that's fine. I can work with that. Let me really quick. Oh, nope. That is not the correct button. This this button. Do, do this, and then... <laughs> Elden El the Elden Ring stream was fun. I was there for a nice portion of it. Doing good. How about you? How was your birthday? I was doing. My birthday was nice. We had a cake. It was a small cake. <laughs> I liked Oreo ice cream, so we got that as a cake. It was good. <laughs> Let's see. Banches card from a graveyard. Special summon. Oh my god. Okay. So I assume I'll be able to chain the effects, right? Next send, world, legacy, this thing to the graveyard, activate one for one and special summon something. Okay, so I pop this, this card is sent to the graveyard, okay, lets me special summon this, activate, yep, yes, Oreo ice cream, I love it so much. Oreo ice cream is so good. It's not as good as mint chip, but I've had a mint chip cake before, and mint chip cakes, too much. Too much. Genuinely. <laughs> and yes, of course, I'll always shout people out if I remember. <laughs> and I know that they stream, so if you show up to my stream and I don't know you stream and I don't shout, that's 100% that's on me. I just did not know. <laughs> Alright, I can actually do this. And we're bringing out this boy. I don't know what he does. Two Orcus monsters as link material. Is it tasty? It is. People say it's toothpaste. It tastes like toothpaste. I think it just depends on the mint chip ice cream you eat. That's just it, I think. Because some... I do agree. Some mint chip... I think, um... The McDonald's, um, Shamrock. Okay? That tastes like toothpaste. That does not taste good. <laughs> Toothpaste, mmm, yuppie. <laughs> oh man. Toothpaste is just interesting. Because I can see why people do it, especially with poorly made mint ice cream. Like, I think, um. 
Okay, Hagen Dots is a bit expensive, but I know Hagen Dots, in my opinion, is pretty good. Hagen Dots does mint ice cream pretty well. And it's not green, it's the white. You can barely taste the mint, actually. It's nice. Very light. From the field to deck, when your opponent normal summons or special summons, I'm allows you to either send to the graveyard or banish that. Oh wait, World Legacy! Isn't this the the the, the deck that lets me summon a really really big monster that just like claps people? I don't remember. I know there was one. There was a monster that exists that's like level 13 or something, and it's just like immune to everything. It has like 4,000 attack points. It's just and then <laughs> you bring it to the field and you basically win the game. Love the smell of mint? I agree. It smells so nice. It's so subtle. Next, activate the effect of the single skeleton from the graveyard. Special summon. Oh! Thank you for the subby! Oh my god! <laughs> okay, the thing actually played and it played in my ears. Oh my god. Thank the lord. I don't know what- I don't know what happened, because before Oh, this is pretty quiet. Because before, it would play from my speakers, and it would jump scare me even harder. It's a little loud, but okay, wait, I got you. I'm gonna... I've dropped it. <laughs> I don't know which one it plays from, so I'll just drop all of them. Because I have an FBI raid thing, and that blasts my ears out. <laughs> I scaled everything to that, but yeah, I'll drop the audio just in case... Actually, wait, what if I just really quick did this and just so I can see how loud is this you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not fine you just can't get into it because they would never Okay, I can hear that. I don't think that's too loud, right? I hope I hope they're from the same thing. That's what I'm hoping. <laughs> it's okay, okay. I, was right. I don't want to hurt the ears of anyone. The exception is the FBI open up one. That's the only one I'm okay with my viewers going, damn, that's loud. Yes, that's the point. <laughs> okay. This one's going to be an interesting deck. There's so many combos I can play with this for the looks of it. Oh, lord. Okay. Here we go. Two material, one material. Right there. Look at this, man! Jeez! Do you consider how you can link monsters and use their effects to the fullest? Yep. Yep. That that do be link monsters. It is... I don't, I don't like them that much, but they're strong, and they're very good. <laughs> a lot of the time. Water? Water. I'll do it. I'll drink water. <laughs> Wait, it doesn't... Oh, it's doing the thing again. Oh, no. Normally, I'm able to see when someone redeems something, and I'm not able to see it for some hecking reason. Uh, that's weird. Why is... Wait, is it not showing up for... I don't know. That's a good question. I don't know what's happening. Uh, give me give me a hot, hot second. Also, hi, Unscrewed! How are you doing? <laughs> Wait, I know you stream. I got this. Oh my god, I can't spell. I hope I got that. Ding. There we go. Portal 2 based! I want to play Portal 2 too. As well as Portal 1. Thank you! Thank you for the birthday wishes! Okay, let's see. Really quick. Uh, If it would be in viewer rewards, right here. It doesn't, wait, it's not, it's just straight up, is it just not, de it's not detecting, oh it is, wait, but why is it, why is it not doing it in stream manager, that's whack, that's whack, stream manager, what happened, what happened, okay, if any of you guys redeem something, and it's very clear that I don't see it. Uh, feel free to scream at me in the chat. That I, I that's a hundred percent understandable, honestly. <laughs> Been playing with Pixel, it's a fun time. I can, I, yeah. <laughs> honestly, I, I would be excited to play Portal, Portal Two. All right, let's just complete all. Ding. 
Oh, and I forgot to change. I forgot to change Sinus first. Okay, wait, hold, hold up, hold. That is the wrong. That is a wrong button. That is. I can't hit any buttons correctly today. Oh my god. I do this. I do this, and then I go here. I click this. I click this. I go here, and I do this. Oh, I almost messed that up and almost closed my Google. And save. There we go. That should be updated in a couple seconds. There we go. Awesome. But yeah. Excited. Has it has it like destroyed your brains yet? Has it destroyed any friendships? <laughs> Cause I'm pretty sure in that game you very well can just kill each other. <laughs> It's like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something, and then you're gonna run into the electrified water and explode. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can do that in that game. I'm, I forget though. All right, how the hell do I play World Chalice? Not yet. We've been working together well enough. Nice. <laughs> That's absolutely huge, honestly. Send um, oh, blah, blah 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 to the graveyard. Draw a card. Okay, so I see nothing here. Thank you, Shay! Ah, my voice is cracking. S O J U E G. Yes. 100% orange juice. Look at that. I was playing so much Yu Gi Oh! yesterday, my guy. I'm so sorry. I lost track of time completely. I saw the invite. <laughs> Thank you for the wishes. Hope you've been doing well as well. Okay. Oh, you control. Jinzo? Why do I have Jinzo in this deck? What? Huh? That's whack. Just debating stuff? Oh man, I hope it's nothing like serious. I hope it's just funny, funny debating. <laughs> Solo mode is like this? I agree. Oh, hi Tom. I, I got you. I got you. I got you. <laughs> Merry birthday! <laughs> you know what? It's true. Christmas. Christmas is only nine months away, guys. Think we're already a fourth of the way through 2023. That's crazy to me. <laughs> it is a strange beast, yeah. All right, I'll just play this because I think we can, and there's no repercussions at all. No pendulum, so I can just put it there. Send an Orcus. Do I have any special stuff? Banish this card. Target Orcus monster from your graveyard. Special summon it. Can't special summon. Rest of the turn. Okay, uh, well, god, that's not great. Um, wait, I can summon this. It's level three. What am I doing? Okay, I do this, this. Wait, no, I already normal summon. What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm wasting this. <laughs> I could have just sent it from my hand. What am I doing? <laughs> Oh my god. Neko made the emote? Yes! Yes, she did, Risu! Hold up. Hold up. I recognize Neko's artwork, like, anywhere. I am dumb. Hold up. Hold. Hold. I, I can't. I keep forgetting the SO. Final Fantasy XIV. Holy shit. That's another game I got the free trial for, played for two hours, and then just stopped and then forgot about it. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> oh my gosh. I hope you've been doing well. Hope oh, work's not too bad. <laughs> Maybe it's just yesterday events are still getting me. Uh... Oh shit, he did? That's mass. Did he pull the Dark Magician stuff? Oh sh I can I- I just can't play anything, can I? Oh, well, okay. Okay! <laughs> not yet. Tell him to wait for you. Based. Thank you. I can't wait to see what he pulls. <laughs> but yes, minor problem. The 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 laugh emote. I have it on like the vibrating setting thing, like the vibrating animation, and Twitch is still like verifying it. I'm waiting so long. It's it's been like four days. <laughs> It's innocent. I'm just laughing and shaking while laughing. That's scary. I've seen that card before. Oh, that's cool. I'm I'm screwed. Wait, hold up. Wait, 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 wait. You can banish this card. 
add to your hand one dark okay hold up let's pop this and I'm gonna grab something I'll grab a thing my body is dead and Aisha doesn't want me to take any overtime stop doing that get back to streaming somewhere April after her subathon ooh yeah no I, I would suggest listening to Aisha as well overworking yourself is a very very not cash money thing <laughs> but yeah oh my god I can only imagine like I only know like one other person that does Amazon warehouse stuff and they hate it. <laughs> so keep slaying King, you got this, okay? Hang in there, don't break it. Don't break the body. Let's see, who do I grab? I grab Jinzo. On this field, you contribute this card, add a Jinzo, blah, 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 then reveal all set cards. There are traps, special summon Jinzo from your hand. Oh, that's cool. I probably want one of these. This card can attack directly. That's funny. <laughs> you can target one Jinzo in your graveyard, special summon to destroy it during the end phase. Banish this card from your graveyard. Special summon one Orcus monster from your hand. But I don't have an Orcus monster. Ooh, okay. Controls more spells and traps than you do. Special summon this card. I don't think... Oh, shit. I don't really... Uh... Uh... I don't really know what I can do. I didn't even know this, that there was this many versions of Jinzo at all. I'm gonna grab this one. Okay, I think I just tank the hit. Right? That's the strat. Oh boy. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> oh jeez. Special summon both player fields and defense. Oh, cool. It's a trap card. That's awesome. Oh, I only have Link 2 monsters. Okay. Wow. Um. Okay, tribute, then reveal all set cards. Okay, we're gonna do that. That's okay. Jinzo Lord. Cannot be normal, so must be special summoned by sending one Jinzo. You control the graveyard trap cards that cannot be. Negate all the traps on the field. Once per turn, you destroy as many face-up traps on the field as possible and inflict 300. Okay. I want to do... Wait. I'm going to do this. Okay. I'm going to add Jinzo Lord. You can special summon this card. It becomes level 6. Quick effect. Tribute this card. Special summon Jinzo from hand or graveyard. Destroy all traps your opponent's control. Uh... Okay. Let's do this. Look through my opponent's cards. There is a trap. Which means I should be able to special summon a Jinzo. Yes. Boom. Okay. And then tribute this card, special summon a Jinzo from blah blah blah. Special summon a Jinzo from hand to graveyard. So this one, 2600. I could crash it. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, no, I got this. Hold up. Wait, what? Wait, I can't. Wait. Does this Jinzo not count? Oh, okay, it doesn't. Okay, I am... I am... I can't read. Destroy a card. Yes? Oh. Okay, so this just negates the destruction. And then I can special summon by tributing this guy. Okay. And then I can fight. And I attack into this damage and he can't kill me unless he boosts his monster's attack points somehow we're chilling i guess uh i don't think i can activate any trap cards too so all right so i can't this card is useless right now while jinzo's on the field summon monster you control that's owned by your opponent oh they have oh wait blocker barricade board Link summon, discard one card during the end phase. Halt, what? Oh, oh, oh lord. Alright, one of your banished machine mounts will shuffle it. That's fine. Another link. That's a, a three link, probably? Four. Oh, shit. Oh, no. He can beat over it. Oh, god. Ow. Wait, wait, wait. Clutch, clutch. <laughs> Get clapped. Get clapped. <laughs> 
It's fine. I could discard. Lose 3,000 attack points. I love this game. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> scripted. Scripted. Okay. He can't trigger any traps, so... If they got no more plays... And this is just solo mode. Okay, we should be fine. I've struggled in solo mode quite a bit, just because the decks just sometimes are not funny. They're very annoying. Alright, give me a card to work with. That is huge. That's huge, actually. Let's go, Jinzo Returner! <laughs> I can I can link summon. I don't think it's worth it though, right? Link summon, discard one card. I don't even have a card to discard. Uh, bonk. One hundred life points. Ah, it would have been better to attack with returner. Oh well. It's not like I'm gonna get punished for this at all. Not at all. I just need to tap him once. Just one hit. It's up. Oh god. Normal summon. Take Orca, send it to the graveyard, or banish. Okay. Let's do that. And we're gonna send... Oh, uh, let's see. You can banish this card, target one. No, is there a quick effect one? If this card is sent to the graveyard, you special summon. Or when you're banished, special summon. You can't target that. Uh, do I have another banished? Oh, I do not. Okay. Uh, yikes. I'm gonna do this one. Yep. Oh, wait. Hold up. Oh, shit. I did not read that. I am illiterate. Like my tags say, I'm illiterate. Oh, shit. This is not good. <laughs> oh, no. Wait, I got this. Come back. Giga Chad. Defense mode, go. Okay. He's crashing. Oh no, but he used the... Mmm, that's not good. Wait. Wait. It was a tribute. Hold up. Neither player can target it with card effects. If other Orcus or other world legacies will be destroyed by you can set this card to be regarded. Okay, so what is this? Cannot be destroyed by battle or with a monster with equal or lower level. Oh, that's not good. When your opponent normal summons or special summons exactly one other monster, this monster, make that 200... What the f... Huh? Orcus is actually a good deck? Interesting. I'm gonna proc this. Um, from your field or graveyard. Yep, target one Orcus or World Legacy. I don't have... I don't have one, do I? Hold up. Let's see this. I'm gonna banish this one. No. No, that's, that's a terrible idea. Okay, let's get rid of this. Okay, I can pick one of these, and then it's just immune to stuff. Okay. That doesn't mean anything <laughs> right now. So that was a... Oh boy. Tribute two machine monsters. Target one monster in your graveyard. Special summon it. If your opponent controls a link monster, you can target two monsters instead. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, okay. Let's do this. Tribute. Let's grab. Let's not do that. We're gonna add... Wait! 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 This is it! What is this? Pulse Mines? Oh, God! Oh, wait, no. Okay, it was just... Okay, it was just that. Okay. Special Summon. Okay. Okay, okay. We got this. We got this. We got this. No monsters? That's okay. That's okay. Wait, no, I lose, I lose, okay. That's not good. That's a perfect amount to make me have zero attack points. You're kidding me! Oh my god! <laughs> I am losing my mind. <laughs> I can't, it's like, yeah, sure, it doesn't do anything. <laughs> god damn it! This game, man. Wait, so it's only temporary? Well, this monster's on the field. Oh, it's just when. Okay. 
Okay, that's not too bad. But... I'm not gonna be able to do much else. And that other monster's back in the field. Oh god. Uh... Sense of the graveyard, you can special summon one world legacy from your hand. Man, none of this matters! No! <laughs> it doesn't matter! It doesn't matter! Oh my gosh. Let's target one Jinzo, destroy it. Wait, I can live. Gosh! Oh my lord. You're... okay. <laughs> this is hard. I just needed to tap him once. Gosh dang it. Only a hundred life points. Oh my gosh. Where's Ring of Fire when I need it? Okay, I think, I think we're better, I think we're okay, right? Probably, I'm hoping. If this card's normal special summon, add a Jinzo or spell trap, attack by opponent's monster, destroy both that and this card, okay. Lurk got to go eat, okay, go, go eat. It's a good idea. <laughs> Thank you for the lurk. Cyber energy shock, that's cool. If it's a trap, apply one of the effects, eh. Law of the Cosmos. Your opponents can set one trap directly from their hand. If they do, special summon a Dinjo for their deck. If they do not, add a Jinzo or monster specifically lists it. Uh, I don't care about this one. If I control Jinzo, activate one of these effects. All machine monsters you currently control cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. Negate the effect. Psychic Wave, if you control a monster, send a Jinzo from hand to deck. Okay, so I think this one's probably our best one. Honestly. Pop this. And I want this. No, I want... Oh, so, okay, if I face up either, so I can bring it out whenever I want. By sending a Jinzo, I control to the graveyard. Okay, so I should probably bring this first. Okay. Hopefully he doesn't clap my Psychic Bounder. Hopefully. Uh, banish a monster. No. 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 Not worth it. Link Karibo. So useful. It's not. I don't, I don't see it. Can we contribute this card? Change that opponent's monster to zero. It's okay. Tribute one level one monster special summon this card. I don't know, man. I mean, it's good because it's just, it's a link monster and some link monsters need other link monsters. I can't really do anything there. Oh, great. That's cool. Uh, let's see. What's it sending? I don't know. Uh, Galetta actually based. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm actually losing my mind. Okay, so I can proc its effect. Wait, what? I specifically list when another monster. Oh, it's another monster. Okay, well, I'm screwed. Um, let's see. Tribute the card, add it from the thing. I can do this. Oh, I don't have Jinzo Lord. Oh boy. Oh, this is this is interesting. Uh, quite the quite the predicament, honestly. Not gonna lie. Um, if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can special summon one World Legacy from your hand. You can banish this card from the graveyard. Target to banish. Special summon it. You can't special summon except for dark. So, it has to be in my graveyard for it to take effect for any meaning. Okay, um... Hold up. Banish this card from graveyard, special summon, orchestra monster from your hand, except... 
Wait, I'm running three different archetypes. That's why this is difficult. I'm running World Legacy, Jinzo, and Orcus. Bruh. That's why I'm having such a hard time. <laughs> it's like I just never draw the cards I need, because there's just everything. Oh my gosh. This is rough. World Legacy is related to Orcus. Really? Jinzo's the wacky one. Okay. I guess it I guess they do kind of work together. I just haven't seen the cards that do. It's like, yeah, I've just been pulling a lot of Jinzo, and I don't think Jinzo's terrible. It's okay. Oh my lord. Wait, that's just lethal. Wait, I lose. That's quick. What the fuck? I cannot wait to whip out my Pendulum deck against this. Oh my god, it's gonna feel so good. It's gonna feel so good. <laughs> okay, so we play this. Nope, wait. In your graveyard? As quick effects. That's good. During main phase, if it's in your graveyard, send one card, add this card to your hand. Okay, I don't really care about that. That's okay. Banish from graveyard, banish from graveyard, banish from graveyard, tribute, add Genzo to deck. Okay, uh... Honestly, I'm just gonna set this and pray. I, I can't really do anything else. <laughs> Jack Wyvern. Oh! Based! <laughs> Not destroyed! L! Wait, 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 they didn't XZ summon. Wait, this is my chance. I can win this right here. Okay, what can I link summon? I don't care. La, 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 discard. Running in phase, add a continuous card. Activate once per turn. Face up spells you control cannot be destroyed by card effects. Or I can bring out Galetta. This card cannot be destroyed by battle. So I need an Orcus monster, which I already have. Good. Uh, you can target one of your banished monsters, shuffle it into the deck. Then you can set an Orcus straight from there. Okay, so I think we can do that, but first. We do this. To the field! Okay. When this card declares an attack on an opponent's effect monster while I control Jinzo, face up in their spell trap card. That's funny. That's hilarious. Okay. Wait, that's really funny. I like that. Okay. We're going to do this. Summon. And we're not going to actually activate that because I don't think we do. Oh, I can triple. Link card cannot be destroyed by card effects. Massive. If I get two of my banished machines, shuffle them into the deck, send a link monster your opponent controls to the graveyard. This is, this is a card cannot attack the turn I activate this effect. Um, I think I'm going to go with here. Alright, up we go. Where's her slots? Over here. Alright, Galetta! What's a funny effect? Special summon an Orcus monster from your hand. Cannot special summon... So do I have an Orcus? I do. Pop this, send it, bye bye. I chain, target one of your banished machine monsters back into my deck. I don't think that negates the effect. Pretty sure. I set a card, and I want. If your opponent normals, banish, send an Orcus. Or world Legacy, hand or face up field to graveyard, draw two cards. Okay, I do this. This lets me special summon this. I could just draw two. Or I could link. Oh, wait. <gasps> okay, this card cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. You can target three of your banished machine monsters. Shuffle them into your deck if I do. Okay. That's really good. You can also exit some of this card by using Orcus Link Monster I controls a material. If the card you control would be destroyed by battle or by card effect, you can detach one material from this card instead. Activate one of these, send a card your opponent controls to the graveyard, attach one of your banished machine monsters to this card's material. Huh. Okay. So I guess What happens if I banish this? Target one arc normally in your graveyard. Do I have any? I do not. Okay, so. I can either link four, or I can link two into Dingersu. I'm gonna do this. Uh, 
right here is okay. I can't believe putting, like, it actually matters. <laughs> this card special summoned, I do this. I don't have a banished, so I'm going to be sending, let's see. Make a second attack during the battle phase. You can banish this card. One face up machine, I don't care, so I get rid of back row. Okay. I can link again. I can link to three. That's not worth it though. So I could draw two. I'm gonna hang on to this and fight. And attack. Alright. Ooh. I got a good hand. I don't think I can do much else, because I could just... Hmm, actually... I'm gonna do this. There we go. That's pretty nice. That's, that's good. Because if he's gonna summon a monster to attack... Wait! Wait, that's... <laughs> Really? Really? I'm just... I'm just... That's it? That's it? Hi, Austin! Thank you! Oh my god, I've gotten... I've got very lucky this run. They just were not able to do anything. <laughs> Wait, target one dark monster in your graveyard and special summon it. That's funny. Okay, I don't care. We're gonna fight. Lethal. Lethal. Oh, that's not lethal. Gosh dang it. I should have attacked with higher. <laughs> oh my gosh. What a game. This is... this. Alright, time to absolutely destroy and dismantle this deck. <laughs> Unless for some reason I brick really hard. Effect Veiler. Oh, wait, I did brick. Hold up. Wait. Wait, I did brick. No shot. That's crazy. That's actually crazy. Okay. Hold up. You can use the Sky Iris. I cannot target them with card effects. Target one other face of card you control. Destroy it. Add an odd eyes. Okay, so activate the effect. I go here. Cool. That doesn't matter. I end my turn. Right? Right. I pop this. Goodbye. And I grab Wisdom Eye. Okay, good thing is I have Effect Veiler. So I can just make it so that, hey, no effect. Banish this card from Graveyard. Okay, don't care. They're gonna be linking constantly. Okay. They're gonna XZ summon that. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna save it. There we go. Now I can negate that. That's fine. That's fine. It's perfectly fine. All all part of the master plan. <laughs> Pendulum call. How's school going? It's going pretty nice. Honestly, it's going pretty well. Pendulum scale here. Activate the effect. Pop. And I put purple poison and then I pendulum summon. Massive. Dragon. And then I pull out. Let's grab you. And I should be able to do this. Whoosh. Heavy Metal Foss. Oh, yes. Activate the effect. I want Astrograph. And then I proc. Hold up. Before I see anything. 
opponent cannot target. You can target one other card and destroy it. Okay, so this doesn't prevent anything. Good. So I proc this. Destroy purple poison. I add Astrograph to my hand. Trigger this. Trigger this. Destroy. He's gonna chain. Right? Astrograph to the field. Not in the middle. So I can keep Pendulum summoning. I grab another purple poison. He negates that. Good. I draw one. Massive. Okay. I can odd ice fusion. Into what? Into what? <laughs> Wait! Wait, is this a spellcaster? That's funny! Okay, hold up. There's no spells. Hold- wait. I wouldn't have enough, would I? I mean, I could- I could! <laughs> I could go into Access Code Talker, I think. So, let's do it. Why not? Yup, I'll count it as two. Yoink. Okay, so I can't special summon. Makes sense. Target spellcaster. Double any battle damage. Okay. Special summon access code. Okay. And we slam. We target this monster. 5,300, baby! I send this. Goodbye back row. I pop it again. No Xyz materials. Lamau, goodbye. Okay. Pendulum scale this. And I should just hit. It's not a one turn kill, but this is massive damage. Okay. Oof. All right, here we go. Now I look at it, I don't think this has protection, so I might get clapped, kind of. Let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. Orcus, yep. Yep, okay. I have no protection, that's great. I still don't lose here though. Right? Because he doesn't have lethal on me. Nope. Yeah, he's short. Okay. I think I still win. That's not the greatest card I could draw, actually. But I'll act... Wait, what's... Fusion summon... If your opponent controls two or more monsters and you control, you can use up to... Oh, that's hilarious! Okay, wait, I'm gonna play this. <laughs> Okay, so I can bring Vortex Dragon, and I'm going to fuse these two for my extra deck. Slam them right here. I pop this, and it should be able to just top deck one of their cards right here. And because it's not destroyed, it doesn't matter. I play this, this card. I'm not going to negate my own effect. Grab you, and I grab you. Alright. Which should let me Pendulum Summon. Astrograph! Harmonizing. Black Fang. Pop this effect. I'm having, like, mass lethal. We're just... Ending it. Let's go. <laughs> Supreme King Clear Wing. Explode! <laughs> okay, this, this is the game. You know what? Why not? <laughs> Why not?
Nice. All right, the final duel right here. It is worth almost nothing, but that's okay. Dark Machine type effects won't hinder. They have great chemistry potential. This deck has many cards that allow the duelist to add cards from the deck to the hands to try and predict what your opponent will use. I hope the deck I get isn't complete confusion. That's what I'm hoping. Gimmick Puppet Doll? Okay. I guess. Massive? <laughs> Hold up, what, what's 2,500? Okay, it actually has stats, which is a good thing. This card is sent to the graveyard, special summon a world legacy. Banish this card from a graveyard, special summon a world legacy from your deck. Boom. Owner cannot card effects, okay. So I'm just gonna do this. Monster Reborn, this right back to the field. Wow, what a shit hand. <laughs> that sounds about right, honestly. This is an okay turn two hand, but it's not a good turn one hand. Okay. Our poor saved it. <laughs> yeah. Puppet Chimera Doll. If you control this Link Summon card, you can activate this effect. You cannot special summon except for that. Also take one and add it to your hand or send to the graveyard. And if all the monsters you control are gimmick puppet, minimum one, you can special summon one gimmick puppet monster from your hand. Wait. Wait. That's massive. Hold up. Not a card. That's fine. This one. Okay, I'm not going to proc it yet. I'm going to do this. Because that lets me special summon one of these. Normal summon, special summon, defense position, banish from graveyard. Wait, no, does it send first? Okay. Add it to your hand or send it to the graveyard. Okay. And I normal summoned already. So. Trigger, banish another gimmick puppet, special summon this card. Cannot be used as an XG summon. Banish the card, can activate cards in respect to the activation of gimmick puppets. Uh, what else is there? When it controls a monster and all monsters you face up, you can special summon this card from your hand, okay. Special summon this card by discarding a gimmick puppet monster, you can banish this card from your graveyard. Okay, so... I think I want this. Yes. Because that lets me... do this. And you can banish this card from your graveyard. Okay. We're gonna do this. Okay, and then I can proc this, and special summon you to the field. There's more? There's more I can do? Oh, that's funny. Okay, wait. Let's do that too. <laughs> Back to the field, baby! Okay. So I've like run out of Link Summon monsters, so because I, I don't have any more. Or wait, what? Oh, okay. Wait. So I can't. Okay, except XZ's monsters. So it would have to be. So my gimmick puppets are yeah four and eight. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Let's see how this goes. One Cyber Dark. This one's gonna be a little interesting. What else can I do? I wanna bring these guys out. So I would have to use... Oh, Cyber Dragon. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know Cyber Dark was, in, was Cyber Dragon as well, but um, you know. Well, there goes most of my cards. That's crazy. I think this is okay, right? Oh, triple link. Okay, wait, it can't be destroyed by battle or by card effects. Uh-oh. Wait, this linked card cannot be destroyed by card effects. So does that mean if it's not linked, 
I can just destroy it. So that's what it sounds like I can do. I'm gonna do this first. Goodbye. Bringing you. Face up attack. I should be able to do this. Because that lets me bring back one of my monsters that were banished. So here, back into my deck. I want to set a card. It's actually going to be useful. That's funny. I'm going to I'm going to take that one. <laughs> I can harpy feather dust. Sweep it away. That's okay. Oh, field or graveyard. Yikes. Okay, that's not good. Um, let's see. Like one Orcus monster graveyard, special summon. Do I have another Orcus? I probably do. Let's do it. Yoink. To the field! I can bring the same boy out. Love it. Okay. This. Bump. You can target two of your banish, shuffle them into decks, and a link monsters. Oh! Massive! Okay. I do this. Back to the deck. Shuffle. Oh, wait. Wait. Why couldn't I send it? Oh, linked monster. Okay. Wait, so if that's correct, then it should get destroyed by Raigeki. There we go. Okay. Special summon in defense position. Banish this card from your graveyard. Your point cannot activate. Okay. If I do this, proc this. I bring back you, right here. Yes! There are three of your banished machine monsters. I don't have any. So, uh, yeah, we just do this, and then we do... Actually, no, hold up this. Oh, oh, I meant to, okay, whoops, that was a mistake. That was a mistake. Uh, let's see. Yikes! I, I did not mean to... Okay. That's alright. That's okay. I hope. Because now it can be destroyed by battle and card effects, because I don't have a linked card attached to it. Oh, boy. Okay. Let's see how we go. Because they are going to bring out a fusion monster this turn. I'd be very surprised if they don't. Oh, power bond. Ugh. That one's gonna hurt. Thump. Oh, they bring out the fortress. Mmm. Mmm, that's not good. Wait. Oh. I mean... Bye bye. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, jeez. Wait, I have an Orcus Link monster. I do not. Okay, card effects. What you got for me? That's not going to be able to do anything. Um, I'm going to set this card. And I'm going to attack. We are in a not good spot. <laughs> We're in a very bad spot. Well, <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Summon a stronger monster. Oh, actually. Oh, wait, these are useless effects right now. Okay, I was hoping that this was... Oh boy. Wow, I'm just not able to do anything. That was me. That was a misplay on my end. I'm pretty sure I survived this, but it's close. 
Hiya. Oh. Oh, there's there here we here it is. Oh boy. Draw two. Yep. Man. I liked I liked the world chalice a bit more. This is not cash money. Okay, so I can destroy that with card effects right now. If I happen to That's crazy. Well We get to retry this. Oh my god. That is brutal. It was a misplay that got me there, but man, not happy about that. Okay, good news. I can just throw down Lightning Storm. <laughs> okay, rank up magic. I appreciate rank up magic being put in a deck that doesn't use... <laughs> I can't really use because I don't have the right gimmick puppets. Oh boy. Normal summon a cyber dark. What is it? What? I don't know what that face down is. All monsters you currently control become that banished monster's level. That's such a good card! I didn't draw that at all! What in the world? Okay, well first I'm gonna do this. Goodbye, spell and traps. Okay. Overload fusion, yikes. Okay, I'm gonna pop I'm just gonna activate this, because I'll probably be using it at some point. You can banish this card from your graveyard special summon from your hand. Banish special summon from deck. Okay, well, I know what to play. It's gonna be this one. Alright, let's stab some things. Bonk. Oof. 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 They have cards that actually work. No. Yeah, I think the big thing, silly little party. <laughs> sure, sure, that's what this is. Yes, of course. No, this is just my clownery. What the fuck? It's going to get like 14 billion attack points. Oh lord. I'm so screwed. <laughs> okay. I guess. Damn, that hurts. Okay. Shit. So. This isn't too bad. It's okay. Holy shit. What a top deck. Honestly. <laughs> Massive. Massive. That's actually huge. That's huge. <laughs> Alright. Let's do this. And we should be able to summon something that we can use. Um, uh, this card from graveyard, target one or grass monster in your graveyard, special summon it. Yep, this one. Defense mode. Summon. Link into... Orcus? Harpor? Yes. Alright. Link. Slam down. Activate. Back to my deck. Set a card. I want this one. It lets me draw. It's not full used yet. Alright, I got a monster in graveyard special summon. Okay. So this should let me bring out this boy in defense mode. 
And, okay, so I do not have the really funny card that I would really have liked to have. That is okay. Let's see here. Orcus, I can tribute and draw two. Is that worth it? Or should I do this? You can target two of your banished machine monsters. Shuffle them into the deck, then I can just send that away. So, if I can somehow get another banished monster... Nah, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna attack. No, actually, I'm gonna... I'm gonna risk it. I'm sending... Wait. Oh! I can do both! I got both the gimmick puppets! That's actually kind of huge. Banish this card from a graveyard, target one of your banished orcus monsters, special summon them. You can't special summon monsters for the rest of the turn. Banish. And you're back. Okay. Yes! Okay, hold up. I'm gonna cancel, and then look at the pointy arrow. Okay. I select this. And this. They both go... Massive. Okay, now he can't be destroyed by battle, which is mass- which is huge. Can't be destroyed by card effects, never mind. Not by battle. It's fine. We're okay. They'll need two different attacks to kill me now, unless they have Raigeki for some reason. I hope they don't. <laughs> Cyber Dark Keel. Let's see where they go from here. Power Bond. Woo! What kind of monster? Oh, oh. Huh? I was doing pretty good, too! Damn! Okay! They're just gonna 10,000 attack point monster me! Okay, fair enough, I guess. Oh, man. That was... that was rough. Holy. Wow, I... I... I don't... Okay. If a Link monster, <laughs> you can discard this card. Okay, this one's got potential. Send one gimmick puppet from your deck to the graveyard. Yes, I'm gonna do that, please. I'm gonna send one of y'all. Eat. Okay. Special summon. Boom. If you control this Link Summon card, activate this effect. You cannot special summon monsters except Gimmick Puppet. Either add it to your hand or send it to the graveyard. If all the monsters you control, special summon Gimmick Puppet from your hand. So, I do this. Link into here. Not only is there big attack points, Oh! Okay, hold up. Let me do this first. Come on. I banish this one. Summon to the field. I proc this effect. I want this in my hand. Special summon. Which lets me Xyz into gimmick puppets? Massive? First time I can actually use the archetype? Crazy? Special summon a monster your don't put controls. Destroy it. Then if it was an Xyz monster, inflict damage equal. Okay, that's not worth it. 
Just place a string counter on each face up monster on the field except this card. During the turn, during the next end phase. Destroy. Wow, okay. Oh, I did not mean to do that. This, 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 this. Let's go! Boom. Now, once we're turning during the next end phase of the opponent of the player who placed a string counter by this effect. So, end of their turn, destroy every monster with the string counter. That's what I'm hearing. That's okay, I don't need to activate the effect now. I'm just going to hope I can break this. Wow, I can't. That is unfortunate. That's okay. It gets destroyed. <sighs> okay. They're actually going to be able to link summon, probably. Cyber Dark. God damn it. Two four, bruh, bruh. Wait, wait. Goodbye. Drop its attack points down to zero. Massive. Right. We're doing pretty good. Okay, first I activate the effect. And I activate this. Sweep. Destroy as much of the field as humanly possible. Like, that's fine. Okay, so what happens here? During my main phase of the control like summon... Okay. Take one gimmick puppet... Let's do this. Select one card. I want to take this card. Right? Because it's got the highest. Yes. Yep. Face up. I think this is lethal. It's lethal! It's lethal! Finally! Jeez! Gimmick puppets, go! <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright, time to destroy it. What's my card gonna be? Hot Ice Fusion. Hmm. Nah. We'll, go, we'll run with this. I don't think there's a reason to fuse right now. Boom. Big monster. Okay. Let's see how they deal with that. They very well can. My fear is that Cyber End Dragon. That's... yikes. I don't think they can turn one it out, but they can definitely make good progress. Oh, they're just choosing to attack me directly. That's crazy. Okay. I guess. Chronograph Sorcerer. Okay, thinking with my brain. Special summon a monster? Yeah, why not? Why not? Uh, we're gonna do this. Sweep. Poly. Draw a card. Add a poly. Wow, they get a plus two for that. Wow. Holy. Okay. I want to bring this. Because I haven't Pendulum Summoned yet, so we're still going in strong. Pop. I want to get Astrograph Sorcerer. 
this effect, destroy, grab, chain, alright. Face up, put him right here. Yep. Grab. Nice. Pendulum summon. Face up. Odd eyes. I gotta somehow beat stick that 3k. Oh wait, no I don't. I think I can just... Ooh, okay. Um... I can beat stick it. Okay, hold up. Do I have a spellcaster? I do not. Um... Let's see. I can... Starving Venom. No. No, I can't. I need slightly more damage. Alright, I guess I'm gonna go into access code. And... Let's sack chronograph. That's fine. Slam her down. Boom. Five. Ooh. I can't special summon anything, unfortunately. That's okay, though. Yup. And then... Here. Wait, no, this is lethal! Wait! <laughs> I just win. Because I can do this. 5,000 attack points. Banish. Destroy. And then I do it again. Oh, it's not destroyable? Oh, it can't be destroyed by card effects. Interesting. Anyways. I punch right through it. It's not lethal, but it's okay. We're chillin'. I don't have any protections, so you know, they could just roll me somehow. I don't really know how they'd do it, though. Back on the field. Okay. See how it goes. Oh wait, they could bring they might be able to bring out End Dragon. Cause they're just sending fusions to the grave. Cause I think they need two fusions to do that. Okay. Okay? Ow? What's the play here? Like, like, actually, I don't actually know what the play here is. I think I kind of lose, like, straight up. Uh, let's try something. Hmm. 5,000 attack points. I kind of have to beat over it. Or attack him directly somehow. Or I, I have to get a monster with like 4,500 attack points and destroy Long Longiersu. Oh, I can have it. And then... Wait. Wait.
Okay. I can do... Starving Venom. It says it's unaffected. Right? So, I'm going to do something. This does 2,500. That scared the shit out of me. Thank God. Thank God Odd Ice Pendulum Dragon does double battle damage in fights. That is crazy. Oh my God. That's Cyber End Dragon, man. That is, that is a beast. Holy. I I do not have many gems to my name. Oh my. All right. Well, that's that. And we just keep going. Six samurai. There's a lot of scenario. Hmm. This one seems pretty quick. I don't even know if this will... Oh, it does give me gems. It's just not a lot. I don't have enough items. <laughs> That's cool. I guess. <laughs> okay. So... We keep going. I think after this branch, we'll do, like, actual ranked battles. Because I do occasionally get tired of this... And I just skipped the lore. I'm sorry. I, I don't care. In the most in the most respectful way possible, I, I do not care about the lore. I will say Six Samurai was probably my first like my first actual structure deck I actually like played with. And I enjoyed it a lot because it was funny. I like the funny boom boom man. He just throws dynamite. It just does area damage. Like, I think he just destroys... He, like, pops cards on the field. I don't remember at all. It was interesting. Learn the ins and outs. Exam. Let's do it. But I know it's all about getting a bunch of monsters on the field. And then they just buff each other. And give each other effects. Which is really nice. Six Samurai have a range of effects that can be used when there's another Six Sam on the field. Most well love to include this choice your opponent's cards. Yep. And one that lets a six samurai be destroyed in exchange for protecting another. When there's two or more six samurai special samurai, great shogun shin, great shogun's a very powerful monster, it limits the amount of times that they can activate their spell and traps. Draw. Oh. Bushido counter. This card's the graveyard. Draw a card for each Bushido. Boom. So this is just on the field? When I control two or more six Sam, okay. Okay. Activate. So this is just a plus one, pretty much. Special summon Grandmaster when I control six samurai. Okay. Which lets me summon Shen. Nice. Face down because this guy benefits from it. Destroy that monster. You must control a face up six samurai monster with a different name to activate and resolve this effect. He just destroys it instantly. And destroyed by battle. I see, so that makes it so I can't proc they can't proc the effect. Makes sense. Alright. Nice. That just works out very well. And no normal duel will actually go like that. <laughs> Anyways, let's see what they mesh Six Samurai with. 
I'm excited. Harp- Man, every deck has harpies, jeez. Okay, play this. Summon. Activate this. I'm gonna see what I draw with this. That's good. Once return, destroy spell trap. Massive. Hopefully they don't just beat stick me. Well, they probably will, to be completely honest. Yep. I think that's the one with the highest attack points too, which is hilarious. <laughs> okay. So do this. Sweep the back row. Not worried about it. Summon. Special summon. And then I should? I don't think it's a win, but I get close. Break that. Attack. And he gets two attacks, I think. Yep. Nice! We're in a very good spot right now. Destroy another card. No. He is the least valuable one. That's just the truth. At least right now. Ooh. Do this. And battle. Attack. And then attack again. <laughs> nice. That went pretty smoothly. Goal. Cleared. So now we can actually do like the harder six samurai battles. And that's probably because they mesh other stuff with it. Hopefully they work together. But we'll see. We shall see. Going first. Okay. So our one face of monster, you control equip it, gains 500 attack, the card's destroyed by card effect, target one card on field destroy. Nice. Ooh, okay. Alright. So we have a little bit of prevention. So hopefully... Hopefully? they do It's not too bad. Uh-oh. Well, uh, I was going to lose it anyway. That sucks. Yikes. Actually, no. It's okay. Lightning Storm. I destroy their face downs. Okay. I was actually going to hope to equip it, so... Yeah. Oh well. Just so they couldn't use it. They're gonna have a little bit of difficulty beating with us over, unless they have. Yeah. Okay, what does this say? Unequip this card, special summon and attack. This. this I'm gonna check. Destroys a plus monster by battle. Okay. So summon. Activate the effect. Right here. And I want to attack. And because he destroyed a battle, draws a card. Nice! Main two. Play this. 
End turn. Nice. This is going very well. Oh. Yes. Good. Now I can just destroy that. Activate the effect. Don't know a thing about Yu-Gi-Oh, but good to see you're having fun. Honestly, Yu-Gi-Oh is an interesting game. I I kind of enjoy it. I say kind of because when you get like into the I don't enjoy the meta. That's what I don't like. I'm not a fan of the Yu-Gi-Oh meta. But I am a fan of like casual Yu-Gi-Oh. It's like you and the only the only reason I say I'm not a fan of meta Yu-Gi-Oh is because I don't like having to deal with, like from what I understand the meta of Yu-Gi-Oh is just um make sure your opponent doesn't get to play cards. And that's not fun, my opinion. So. Oh, I can just. I can just destroy the set card, too. Oh, never mind. I'm just going to destroy my own card. That's. Whoops. Add. Oh, shit. It's fine. These, these don't, they don't last that long, and I don't think, uh, I don't think I'm, I don't think you're missing much, to be completely honest. This is going very smoothly for me, so, I don't think, uh, I'll be losing this one, unless I massively misplay. Ooh, nice, Spirit of the Six Samurai, hell yeah. Bow. Draw one. What does this do? If this card attack, destroy the monster the card attack. That's just good. Oh, that's lethal. It's dead. Funk. <laughs> so that just let me do that, I guess. It didn't mesh it with any other... Archetypes. If it does, yeah, if it just doesn't mesh it with other archetypes, the deck's just good. Back also nice? Yeah, I think it's really just because the archetypes. Because it's like, if you're gonna put Six Samurai with like something that doesn't work with Six Samurai, then there's no point. You know what I mean? Because then it just ruins the synergy that it normally has. Okay, let's see. Uh, I think I grab you. Because that's cool. Let's see. Spell trap control. That destroys a card, negate, and destroy. Oh, nice. And end. All right. But yeah, one of my uh, friends who may or may not be watching the stream right now, um, he got he and someone else, he and another of his friends got into Yu-Gi-Oh because we kind of asked them, me and uh, Tom Tuo, and they've been I think at least uh, that friend is getting a little interested in the game, so it's nice to know. It's just the meta is very brutal and very complicated in my opinion, so. During your opponent's turn, target a face of monster who's playing the control less than equals to their HP, destroy it. You know what? Yeah. Goodbye. <laughs> well. Ooh. Interesting. Wait. Solemn War- Bruh? Oh, 
Also, I thought I could activate this because I know that's a counter trap, but I should be able to act. What? Okay. I don't know, man. I don't know. Yes. Proc this. Goodbye. Yes, proc this. Summon back to the field. You can't attack me directly. Oh, I have to destroy it during the end phase. Oh well. That's okay, probably, maybe. Oh, that's not good. That is very not good. Because I, I don't have any monsters. Oh boy. Hmm... Mm. Yikes! That is damage. Okay. I would say that's really good. I think I still lose, because I can't actually break back another- okay, yeah, no, I lose this. Retry. I was doing okay, and then I misplayed, because I got greedy. That's that's on me. I should have destroyed the defense position. I should not have played Ring of Fire. I played that way too early. This is also a significantly better hand. Wow. Okay. Play this. Oh. End my turn. Nice. I just have to hope they don't play a card that has higher attack points. Nice. Draw. Ooh, Spirit of the Six Sam. Okay, that's actually going to be the card I play. So I can do this. Oh, come on. Well, I meant to it. Okay, I meant to attack. Now, if it gets destroyed, that's on me. It's that's on me. Yikes! That was a misplay and a half. Holy shit! It's not too bad, though. It's not too bad. Special summon? Here. In defense mode. Activate the effect. I bring out this boy. Bring out this boy. Really? Okay. Ooh. Warrior, including six samurai. If this link card is summoned, discard one card. Add a card from deck to hand that has an effect that plays Bushido counters. You can only use this. Return each time a six samurai. Place a Bushido for each Bushido. Oh. This is actually not good right now. I attack this boy. Alright. If the only monster I control is one face-up six samurai, target... Oh. Okay. So he has to be playing defensive right now, which is good for me. Set. Samurai Kumon. Now I think it's worth it. Ooh, I can fuse. Banish one six samurai from hand or face up on field. Target, six, target one card and banish it. Oh! Okay, well, first I'm going to do this. Oh, I don't have a... I don't... Okay. That was actually suboptimal. Mm. Whoops. Who are you bringing to the field? I'm going to destroy this face down instead. Wow, okay. I didn't have any cards in my hand. Whoops. Whoopsie. 
Oh shit, I'm fucked. Wait. Okay, the strat is to send this and this. Yes, actually. Actually. <laughs> send it right back to the hand. This works. Elder of the Six Samurai. Not really useful right now. Um, I could put him in to squeeze more damage, but it's not worth it, I don't think. Okay. Ooh. So they can't kill me yet, which is good. Perfectly fine, and they have to set. Nice. Hopefully I get a card that has good stuff. Yeah, that works. Boom. Okay. Uh, and I attack. As odds are I can destroy it. 2-1. Nice. A 1-2 combo. It's coming in. Oh, it's actually going to get destroyed regardless, too. Now that I think about it, because he has the effect. Where if there's another 6 sa We don't talk about that. Wow, I'm misplaying. Like, holy shit. You know what? I could have gamed it right there. Oh well. It's fine. It's fine. I think we still win, because we have Ring of Destruction. Grandmaster. We don't play it. Now we play it. Oh. Oh. Wait, what? Oh, less than or equal to life points. I see. Okay. That's okay. We still win this. Because he can't do anything. That's just it. That's 700. Nice! Ooh, we got lucky. <laughs> All right, it is time to absolutely decimate with Pendulum. <laughs> Wombo Combo. Wow. Okay, I'll be real. This is not a good starting hand. It's it's in fact quite terrible. Fate has completely changed. Okay. This is a very redeemable hand. That's crazy. We destroy that. We grab... That activates, so I can grab Harmonizing. First, I'm going to activate Feather Duster to destroy all that. Now I can Pendulum Summon. Face up attack, defense, effect activate. I pull Synchro. Grab this. Boom. Activate the effect. I target this. Hawk. 
this, destroy. Astrograph. Purple poison. I want to destroy this card. Grab Astrograph. Super chain. And face up in attack mode. Add the designated card. Yes. Thank you. Destroyed. Draw one. Massive. Pendulum scale. Summon. Special summon. Let's grab... Oh, wait. Is this an OTK setup? No, it's not. I don't think. It gets close. So let's do this. Face up. Activate. Send this to grab this. No, I grab harmonizing. And we should be good to go. Battle. Nice. Um, actually, why not? Use the effect of Time Star? Hell yeah. Because then I can negate it. Negate the destruction. 3-7. Almost! 100 life points. Alright. What can Six Samurai do? Literally nothing. That is the game. I'm just gonna attack into it. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do anything fancy. Sure. No, it gets destroyed. It's fine. A mandatory effect? Oh. Okay, I thought. Okay. <laughs> I guess it actually doesn't matter. This is Draw one. I pull a wisdom eye, it's fine. Doesn't matter. Oh, okay, so if the target gets destroyed, it's just okay. Interesting. I actually didn't know that. If it gets destroyed, my attack is basically negated. Okay. So, seeing as how that went, I don't think it bodes... Like, even that, that was a really bad hand to start with. And then it rolled into something good. So... There we go. That's also a very good hand. All things considered, it's a very good hand. Okay, that's useless. So... Pendulum Graph... Then we pendulum scale. We call. We're asking for. Oh! Shit! That's huge, actually. Negated. Um. That's okay, because I can do this. I can just do it again. Um, I'm grabbing... I can't use effects, so I'm gonna get... You... And you. Okay, then I get to go into my normal combo without the Link Monster. Special Summon... I've gotten pretty fast at using this deck, too, all things considered. Activate the effect, send over, grab another Skullcrabat, summon. Using his ability, I'll be able to grab... Yes, harmonizing. I'm just, like, thinking for a little bit. I'm like, oh, yes, I can do that. Now, I shouldn't actually be able to use this ability... But, we'll see. Oh. Wait. Oh, so I have to- I have to wait. Makes sense. Okay. Let's fight. 
Oh, actually, yes. I'll boost it. And it's not destroyed. There we go. All right. We dismantled that pretty well. Nice. Wow, okay. That just, okay. That's fine. I think we will have lethal very soon. Ooh, actually, hold up. Activate this effect. Send this. We're gonna grab this. Uh, we're gonna hold off. Defense. Proc. We're gonna bring Pendulum Boy. Do this. Do this. I see an opportunity. I see a very good opportunity for something. Yep. Activate this. We send Astrograph. We grab... Where's Pendulum? Oh, I know, he's already there. Okay, so I can grab... Wait. Xyz. I have everything! Wait. We're good. Okay. We want to destroy... It doesn't really matter, honestly. Uh, we'll get rid of him. Use the effect? No. The effect? Select an optional effect to activate. Yep, sure, why not? We can revive this. Yep. I don't think there's a point in reviving it, actually. Whoops. That could screw up my entire combo, but it's okay. I we have, We'll have lethal anyway. I just want to see if I can do it. This is an actual in. It is! There you go! Banish, 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 and banish. We Into my boy, Zark! <laughs> so I can do it. Okay. Nice. Yes. So I can, yeah, I can very consistently bring out Zark. Okay. Yeah, that's crazy. That's extremely consistent. I could probably do it again, too. Again, this is a really not terrible hand. It's it's a little rough, but it's okay. Cannot Pendulum Summon except Perform Repel and Magician and Odd Eyes. So this does not actually affect my deck, so I can... Oh, what's he doing? Okay, that's actually bad for me. But it's okay, I can cope with that. Oh! Wait! he That just counters Pendulum! Oh, that's crazy! Okay. That's cool. That's actually really cool. So, I can't actually set any of these. Interesting! Okay! I like that. That's an interesting counter. I mean, my monster is still just naturally stronger just because I lucky top decked it, but wow, okay. I want to Dust Tornado that. That's a very interesting counter, all things considered. I want to destroy that, and I'm going to destroy this. Okay. So now I can actually Pendulum, but like... That was an interesting play. And it's actually not going to matter too much. So, Pendulum Scale... Actually, wait, yes I can. It does matter. Because now I can activate this. Not going to chain. I grab this. Shuffle... Pendulum Scale... Pendulum Summon? 
Hold up. No, 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 no. Battle any damage it does. Actually, hold up. Do this. There we go. Okay. Now, I should be able to activate the effect. No, I should Pendulum Summon first, and then activate the effect. Do this. Double any battle damage that monsters inflict. Oh, okay. Me, actually. Ah, oh, never mind. And I grab... Wisdom Eye. Because this just lets me do this. It lets me cycle. An extra card. Alright. So. Battle. Like, I could just keep going. I'm, I'm just going to fight it. It's okay. I could combo bigger, but it's okay. I don't need to. Optional effect? Hell yeah, why not? Optional effect? I'm not going to actually proc that. Alright. If they somehow beat this, I'm going to be very surprised. Yep, that's game. Nice. Pendulum Call. I can't even use it. Battle. Nice. That's game. Bonk. That was with an almost natural counter to me. And I just got lucky that I drew Dust Tornado, to be honest. 200 gems. Alright. So, anniversary! Nice. Do so we actually get a pull? That's crazy. And we get some missions. Claim all rewards at once. Oh. Nice. Power Pro Lady Sisters. That's a card that I'm aware of. Yes. <laughs> it's just cool. And then, we get our special. What are we gonna get? Yes! Yes! That's, this is the pack I wanted. This, this might let me switch out a shiny card for something better. For one of my normal cards, for a shiny one. Ah, rune eyes. Eh. Another Astrograph. Is it, is it shiny? Not shiny. Okay. Oh. Sofa Cord. Face of Sofa Cord, Pendulum. This is another archetype that's interesting. But nah. That's okay. Alright, so you are pack. I am hoping for an ultra rare Zark or an ultra rare Astrograph. That's what I'm hoping for. Sofa cores do a lot of things, yeah. Let's fucking go! We take that! Let's. That's amazing. Okay. We're good. They get Electromite easily? Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised. A lot of. Pendulum does. Pendulum gets it. Pendulum gets Electromite very fast. Oh my god. That's huge. I can just I can just change the cards in my deck now. That's amazing. That's all it is. Like I already had the card. The thing was, now I actually like just have a shiny version of it. So <laughs> Yes. Yes. Huge. Absolutely huge. And we could we could play Duelist Cup actually. Now that I think about it, because we get mad gems if we do good. How many more until I level up? I don't really know. These packs aren't worth anything, but these, oh my god, nice. 
Hopefully I don't run into hyper meta. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Cancel, cancel. Copy. Yes. I need to have the shiny Zark. Copy. There we go. Now, is it going to matter? No, probably because they have like 17 billion negates and I won't be able to actually do anything. So you're actually going to you're actually going to see me struggle now. <laughs> you're not only going to see me struggle. You're probably going to see me lose most of these fights, most of them. Um, I don't know how I feel about this hand. I like the fact that they can just... They have something to do. Okay. So that scares me already. Are they going to play Maxi? Ash Blossom? No? Okay. Maxi, Ash Blossom? Any fun funky summons? There's Maxi. All right. What's the play here? Hmm. Activate this effect. I can destroy. Ooh, actually. Okay, let me try something. I'm going to do this. They also have Ash Blossom then, I guess, if they can do something. Yeah, wow, okay. They just negate it. That's fine. Okay. Now. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, this is dumb. Special summon a monster, immediately draw one. Okay, hear me out. I don't know how meta that deck is. They just wasted their cards. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna mind game them right here. They they're working with four cards here. Let's see if they can do anything, because they probably can, but we'll see. What is this? Cynet. Cyburst monsters. Okay. Oh, they're Salomon Great. Okay. I think I can deal with this. And you may be like, why? I actually I actually went up against a Salomon Great deck before. I don't think I won, but I think I can deal with it. They just don't have a lot of cards in their hand, so they have to solely work on whatever they have. And if they don't bring out a crazy terrifying monster turn one, I might just be able to combo and win. It's likely. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. All right. <laughs> All right. Detach special summon from your deck in defense position. That's so cool, you know. See what you got. I think the biggest problem, I mean, they're actually not playing that slow, but there are people that play the game and they play like a like a meta deck like this, but they play it very, very slowly. And that was my one big problem with Yu-Gi-Oh for a lot of the time, even like aside from like all the meta negates and everything. The fact that they're playing a meta deck and they play just really slow bothered me because it's like it's going to be the same exact combo. It's just the person who's more adept at playing, it's going to play it in like one or two minutes. Whereas the person who is doing the deck and they play slow, it's going to take, they, they time out. I got into a match and they did time out, which is crazy to me. And add one fire monster. Okay, so they haven't normal summoned yet, I assume. Oh. I still don't think they've normal summoned. Okay. When a spell or trap card or monster effect is activated while I control, destroy that card. 
If a Salamon Great Link monster was Link Summoned to your field using a monster the same name as the material, you can set that card, but banish it when it leaves the field. They special summoned. Okay. I am a little scared, but... Uh, we'll see. We'll have to see what they do. Wait, they're just fighting? Wait, that's it? I guess the monster they're going to go into is going to be by itself stronger. Yeah, because they're going into main phase two. They set down that counter trap. For sure, it's one of those cards. I don't know. It's one of those. It's one of those cards. I don't know which one it is, but it's one of them. So they have at least one negate. I'm pretty sure. Pendulum call is massive for me. If this card attacks a defense position monster, inflict piercing battle damage. Okay. Wait. Huh? I clicked odd eyes. Oh my god. I actually threw. Wait, I actually threw. No shot. I clicked I Bruh, I play I played too fast. That's the problem. I played too fast. Holy shit. I played too fast. If they let this go, okay. <laughs> I lose this. Yeah, there you go. They negate it. Oh my god, I threw so hard. That's crazy. They don't have any more negates, right? Yeah, they don't. It's just minor problem. I kind of get clapped. There's nothing I can do. Or, well, I guess there is. Um... That's what I can do. I can't do anything else. I threw. I threw really hard. Hmm... The good news is if they choose to attack into it, you know, they just take damage because it's just a wall. But, like, I don't... I don't know. Because they're probably going to be able to destroy it. That's the thing. And I think they just set the counter trap again. Yeah. Oh, lord. Update jumper. Okay, this one's new. I haven't seen this one played in their deck. Oh, wait, there you go. There's a negate. Look at that. Negate all other card effects on the field until the end of the damage step. Crazy. Uh-oh, yeah. This is game? Alright, I'll just surrender then. I'm not surprised. I did throw. It's like, I could have I could have pulled something way better. Access cold talker double attack you? Oh, wow, okay. Damn. That's rough. You know what? I think I'll, I'll just stick with ranked. I'll just stick with ranked. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> Max speed points. <laughs> Alright. Let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. That's my new catchphrase. Let's see how it goes. And I'm going first. They gave me first? Okay. I mean, I guess. Youch. All right. Uh, I'm like minor problem. I kind of don't have the cards I need. Which is going to be rough. Pendulum scale. P 
pendulum scale and turn. Okay, and then I grab... I grab Wisdom Eye. Okay. Ooh. It would have been safer to grab a scale 8, but I don't know what deck he's playing. Because it very well could be a deck that I can beat. Like, if he's playing Dark Magician, Blue Eyes... What is this? In camp... Oh, it is Blue Eyes! Okay. Special summon from this hand and one... Uh, I'm just gonna... No. No. Negate. Not allowed. Burp. Well, okay. He just has another version of the same card. That's cool. I don't even... Chaos Max Dragon. Must be Ritual Summon. Cannot target this card with card effects. Can't be destroyed by opponent's card effects. Inflict double piercing damage. Yikes. Hmm. Hmm. I'm waiting. Can you rate a replay? Um, I don't think I'm qualified for that, I'll be honest. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, I just play this for fun. I don't play for, like, meta reasons. And in all honesty, if you showed me, like, a meta replay, I would not understand what the hell is going on. Oh, ouch. Okay, yikes. He can just ritual summon from the deck? Holy shit, that's a good card. And I assume that's just the normal ritual, right? No, it's not. Oh, that's rough. Okay, so he gets blue eyes max off the bat. Mmm, that's not good. Okay. Yikes. Oh, this is an OTK. Okay, I see. Hold up. Let me do this. Yeah. Holy shit. It's Sprite Emancipators. Do I consider that meta? Yes, I consider that meta solely because... <gasps> I consider that meta solely because of the fact that anytime I see it, I just instantly surrender. It's just, nah, bro. Nah, I'm okay. I'm sorry. All right, time to instantly lose now. Add a ritual monster or a ritual spell. Oh, he's just gonna... Oh, no way he top decked two Chaos Max Dragons. Unless he has, like, another, a, a different ritual card that he can use. That ritual back from the graveyard. Oh, man. Or maybe he has another ritual card in his hand and wants a ritual monster. This is an OTK. Oh, my God. Okay. A blue eyes deck to not... Brick. That's crazy. Battle phase. I'm safe. I'm safe. Holy shit. <laughs> but yeah, I'm sorry. I consider... I, uh, the other thing is I usually can't follow along. The other reason why I don't do meta is because there's so much stuff going on. And so many card effects interwoven. Like, I think... It took a little bit of convincing from Tom to make me put, like, Beyond the Pendulum, which I don't even use, Beyond the Pendulum and Heavy Metal Foes Electromite in my deck. Because it was just, like, yikes. You know what I mean? I just did- I don't- I don't- I personally don't like playing meta meta. Alright, pop this effect. No disruptions, right? No disruptions. Good. Okay. I should just win this outright then. I don't think I lose by any means. Alright. Let's throw them out. 
defense, attack, activate, and I grab you. Special summon. We're going to bring out Electromite first. Right there. Okay. Now I want to do this. I'm gonna target here. Pop the effect. I want to break this. I want to add Astrograph. So that's a draw one and a card destruction. Oof. My deck is slow. It, re it mine's mine really is a turn two deck. Holy, that's good. Wait, I didn't get to activate the effect. Interesting. Um, that is interesting. That's that's a first for me. That com that's the first time that combo did not work. Um, I wonder why. Let's see, Ash Blossom. I do have a spell cat. No, that's a zombie. I'm dumb. <laughs> Let's see. I send this. I grab Skulkrabat. Wait, summon. Activate the effect. Grab this. Pendulum scale, just to make sure. To secure it. I don't think it's worth bringing any of these guys out, so I'm just going to whack, I think. Because I can't double attack at all. Um, yes, this time. More damage, and I pop the effect to send another... This. Nice. I attack. Alright. So they are in the red. Alright. Bing chilling. Oof. Now, I don't think they can OTK me with Chaos Max anymore, which is good. So I just have to somehow if i can i might be able to beat stick over it i can i can beat stick over it with um with my boy with the knight right here access code okay draw i'm just going to attack if i can just end it Then that's huge. There you go. Nice. That's a win. We take that. Me and my little silver three. <laughs> oh man, I remember when this game like first came out, I fought all the way to like, I think it was platinum one. It was like the highest rank you could get. <laughs> And I did it with Pendulum, because no, there wasn't, like, a heavy meta at the time. So I was able to just clean house all the way up there. Wait, I clicked second. Oh, whoops. <laughs> but now that, like, the, a meta has, like, formed, then it's become really hard for me to progress. Which is also why I stopped playing. It just stopped becoming fun. Not because I couldn't win, but because it took a long time and the meta was negates, 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 which I couldn't win, correct, but I wasn't having fun losing, so if I got outskilled, that's a difference, but I just literally, it's... Oh, shit. Okay. Wait. Wait, is this a self-burn? Is this a self-burn deck? That's crazy. <laughs> oh my god. No way. No way. 
It's a self burn. <laughs> so it's a free win from the looks of it. I guess. That's a trap card that if I destroy is probably going to do 3 to 6,000 damage to them. Honestly, I should just summon my highest attack point monster and attack into them because it'll make it easier. Unless they actually kill themselves this turn. Oh? I don't think I'll need to. That's another 2k damage. Oh wait. Okay. Wow. I guess, um... I mean, I'll do them a favor. I'll just finish it. Unless they're gonna activate a trap card. No? Okay. I'll just pendulum scale. I'll be quick. Unless they just pop the trap card to kill themselves. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I've been seeing a lot of these self-burn decks. Probably by bots, to be honest. Yep. Alright. I'm taking a thousand damage for every card I play. God damn. <laughs> what if I self burn myself? I'm gonna self burn myself at this rate! Hold up! I really can't do much! Oh no, I could've, uh... I could have popped Duelist Alliance to get Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon out. That's what I could've done. Oh well. Man, that's crazy. I almost lost to a self-burn deck. That's wild. <laughs> I say almost lost. They could definitely kill me if they wanted to. It's possible. Actually, no, they can't. Because if they play any card, it's over. That is interesting. I think, I think Chain Link is funny. It really is. Because if you could top deck, like, three chain energies, right? That's just a win. On your end, for the most part. Right? That's one hell of a gimmick deck. Oh my god. Like, even against meta, right? Unless they have, like, Harpy's Feather Duster, they pay 1,500 per turn. They pay 1500 per turn to play a card, and meta decks just play a shit ton of cards. <laughs> For the most part. So if they play, what, four? No, like five, six cards? That's just game. <laughs> Which is really funny. Alright. You can keep pushing to silver? Probably to gold? Maybe to diamond slash platinum? I don't really know. All right. I am going second. All right. Let's see what they do. Welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> I don't know what their plan is, to be honest.
Oh. Are they playing a starter deck? World Chalice? Really? They're just... Wait... Huh? I mean... I'm okay with it, but that's interesting, I don't know. Let's grab Harmonizing. Let's see if I can GG them one turn. Okay. Uh, I can choose to destroy a card. To grab Odd Eyes, Pendulum Dragon. Yep. All right. Face up defense, pendulum dragon. Boop. Activate the effect. Grab these. Special summon. Heavy metal foes. Nice. Boop. Master Graph. Pop the effect. Destroy. Optional effect. I might as well. Goodbye. Oh, wait. No, that's a suboptimal. Wait, I had lethal. Wait, why did I do that? Wow, I actually misplayed. That's crazy. That's crazy. Okay. I think we're fine, though. I think this is still lethal. Yes. Right? If it's not lethal, it's barely. Nope, it's lethal. Nice. Bonk. Wow! That is lethal with no defenses. That is crazy. Well, one more, and then we get into silver one, I guess. <laughs> that was... This is very anticlimactic. <laughs> Oh? I see a person and he has a different card deck. Probably not a bot. Probably also not playing starter deck. Oh great, they have cards that they can play. That's crazy. Oh man. And I know I'm going first, so it's like... <sighs> Welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh. Upstart. Upstart! Wait, they can't do anything? Really? I mean, hey, I'm not complaining. Do this. Grab you. P scale. Pop the effect. That's just an extra monster to summon.
Skull Crabat Joker. We grab Odd Eyes Pendulum. Pendulum Summon. All of these. Pop this to bring Synchro Dragon. Bum bum ba. Uh, let's do this first. Discard. We add you. Then we bring out Electromite. Nice. Pop this ability. Send Astrograph. Bread and butter. And we pop purple poison. Um, let's see. If we destroy... No, I want Astrograph on the field. No. Okay. Hey, I'm trying to start the game. I'm looking at a tier list. Do you know why Fairy Stun isn't there anymore? I'll be completely honest. I have no idea what Fairy Stun is. I ha I also have not played the game in a long time. So, unfortunately, I wouldn't be able to tell you. I'm sorry. Maybe Tom Tuo could tell you, because I know he's more invested into the meta. So, it might be banned. Not sure. Then we add this. Nice! Okay. So I can't activate Pendulum Call, which makes- OH SHIT! I can just do it? Fuck yeah. I looked at the ban list and don't see any critical cards that are banned. Really? Weird. Weird then. Anyways. Turn one Zark! <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking amazing. Use the effect of Time Star. Actually, no. Not at this point. There you go. That's a deck cycle. Anyways. Here we go! <laughs> Watch him okay me, like, some other way. <laughs> That's cr That was a good hand. Holy crap. I didn't even think I could turn one Zark that, but here we are. Jeez. Mad Hacker. I wonder what I'm facing, because I really don't know. End phase. That's just it? Okay. Then I think I just win. Much to the dismay of the person, I kinda just, I kinda just win. Oh, he can do something. Oh, never mind. They're just taking it. And this is definitely lethal. I, I'd be very surprised if it was not. Yeah. 4K, baby! Woo! I've like gone up no no things. That's crazy. <laughs> I was like, oh, maybe I can get to, you know, rank 100. No, I'm not going to have the time to do that. A fusion monster. 
Empress Judge. Instable and... Wow. These old cards. Genuinely. I wish we could, like, dismantle these as well. But... Oh well. Also, level up. And that's still not enough. It's not enough. I just want another pack. I want another 10 draw. Okay, 751. I think this actually goes up to 800. No, close. So I guess I gotta rank up like two more times. And I think if I get into gold, that's actually enough. Two more wins. Let's do it. Alright, time to stop someone else from ranking up potentially. Let's go first, and hopefully not get a terrible hand, or hand trap. Because if y'all couldn't tell, a big weakness of my deck is hand traps. It massively neuters my deck, I can't do anything. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, there... No extra deck. 40 cards. Hmm. Activate the effect. Destroy. Replace. Um, yeah. Thump. There we go. We just have more cards. Right. Keep this up. And then we grab... Actually, in this case, we grab Time Star. Because we don't have Astrograph in the thing. So it's fine. Activate. Discard one. We yoink. Skullcrabat. Effect. We grab Harmonizing. This gives us an extra body on the field. We could make Starving Venom. We could also make Absolute. We could make Absolute. Unless there's another Xyz monster we could do. <laughs> Vortex. Uh... Actually, we might as well. Nah. I think we'll end it there. We'll wait to see what they can do. Because if there's no extra deck, I'm not as scared. Because a lot of the scary cards I am aware of are from the extra deck. In terms of, like, final boss monsters. I know a lot of engine is main deck, because it has to be in the main deck, duh. Mostly, mostly, except for Link Monsters, but if there's... Self-burn! Let's go! I just win. Okay. That's crazy. <laughs> how the heck is... How? How? Earth and Sea Serpent. <laughs> Cybernetic Fusion. <laughs> oh my god. No applicable card in the deck. This is great. I've been running into- Every other match has been a self-burn deck. They can they could just end their turn right now, actually, and I would win. So they wouldn't have to think at all. There we go. All right. Yep, 
That's game. 5,000 damage. Oh, that's... <laughs> There's probably a lot of spells and traps. I think they're just done here. Oh, yeah, six cards. At least three spells and traps, especially in this specific... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice, I guess. <laughs> Welcome to Ladder. <laughs> All right. If I win this one, then we're good. Bean chat. <laughs> That's a real person. That has to be a real person. No way it's a bot. And the fact that a real person chooses to go first means I am probably screwed. <laughs> Unless they're playing solely for fun. And by that I mean not meta. Also, my starting hand is a little rough. It's okay if I can draw a scale 1 Magician. Or Wisdom Eye or something. But if I can't, we're kind of screwed. Oh! Oh shit, it's Sky Strikers. It's been so long. It's been so long since I've seen Sky Strikers. <laughs> Holy crap. That's a lot of spell cards. Yep, there's Engage. There we go. Okay, I didn't top deck an amazing card, but let's see what we can do. Max C. Nice. Crazy. Duelist Alliance. That's not good. That's actually really bad. I don't need it. That's the problem. Um... All right. I could Pendulum Call, which is actually what I'm going to do. I think that's optimal. I'm going to chuck this. If they have a Negate, I'm just screwed. I just surrender at that point. But if they don't, then I have a nice chance of actually being able to do something. Okay, so we already have a Harmonizing, so we don't need to grab another one. We just need to scale one, and honestly, this is what I'm thinking. Okay, so this ideally, we get these two. Pendulum Dragon. Maxi, yep. They're gonna get a lot of cards here, so... Here we go, it started. <laughs> oh, shit! Okay, that's fine. They have another? Okay. I was gonna say. This is okay. Clear Wing Synchro. It's still gonna be really rough, cause... Hmm. I wasn't able to get 
the other magician. So we're actually in a very bad spot right now. It's not too bad, but it's not optimal, not ideal. Okay. So proccing this doesn't do anything for me. So battle, let's just fight it. Yep, all right. I goofed with harmonizing, so. I don't have a negate, but I have two card destructions. So. <sighs> so let's see this card. Target one face up monster your opponent controls negate its effects. Terraforming? Okay. Sky Striker Airspace. I just need to be able to pop cards. Hopefully they bring out the big boy that hits really hard so I can just get rid of him. Oh, what the f- Surgical Striker, that's a first. I've never seen this card, ever. Well. It's the Stry Sky Striker support they added while you were gone. I see. I don't think Sky Strikers needed support, but okay. Fair enough. I guess Sky Strikers original, like as a normal archetype, does need support. But it's such a good engine for other stuff. Ah, they're going to attack... Okay. I mean, sure. That was a misplay on my end, but okay. Special summon monsters from the animal. Rest of the turns, Sky Striker, and summon one other creature. Extra deck, extra deck, extra deck. Okay, I don't care. As long as it's not affected, as long as it's not the not affected by card effects bullshit, then we're good. Okay. What is this? You can only summon Sky Striker. After damage is this card battled. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We take it. Life points are a resource. It's okay. Oh, that's. Yep. That is a card. All right, Kagari. All right. Two point nine K beat stick. However, okay. Okay. I hate this card, by the way. I really hate it. Proc. Hopefully, no negates. Still the battle phase. Okay. 
So, I survived, I think. Yeah, I survive. Wait, no I don't! Holy shit, they get so much damage in. God! Not gonna lie, I feel a little cheated, but okay. Main phase two, thank god. This is a really pretty token, by the way. Holy shit. <laughs> they have upstart and max C. Oh my lord. Is it my turn yet? Cause this took a while, not gonna lie. Oh, they semi-limited this. I thought it was limited. Also, they've played it like four times, but at the same time, they have cards to refresh it, so, you know. Other card you control, send it to the graveyard. Your opponent cannot activate cards or effects or spell activations for the rest of this turn. Okay. Okay, so I've got one shot at making this work. I've got one chance. I have top decked probably the worst card I could have top decked. All right. What the fuck can I do? Um, add the effects of any stuff. Pendulum. I already pendulum summoned, so there's no point in doing that. I can astrograph back into my hand. That's not gonna matter though. I'm gonna try it. In this specific instance, I'm scared of that face down. I'm not gonna put it there. There it is. I'm not gonna chain. Well. Break that. Quick effect. That works. As of now, I don't die, but knowing this card, fuck, you know what I mean?
Goodbye. I'm breaking my own pendulum scale. Like, I'm actually gonna lose this. I don't think there's any me winning. How? I have like a mini wall. Like it's probably not going to be enough. One face up monster and destroy it. Oh cool, they're also going to destroy my actual time pendulum graph. No? Interesting, I guess. Oh, yep, there you go. Oh my god, it's an infinite combo. How long has this duel been going on for? I'm just curious at this point. Anyways, yeah, I want to say, I'm going to say it, um, that card at the very top, at they played at the very start to negate my Magician, was absolutely huge. Like, I don't even think I can beat stick my way out of this one. Like, honestly. I think I'm just screwed. Oh. Kagari. There she is. The more and more I look at this card, I'm just like, ah, oh, it's so good. It's so good for the archetype. Oh my god. Wow, they made it semi-limited? They buffed Sky Strikers. Christ. Okay. I thought she was limited. Yeah. What happened? Because <laughs> Sky Strikers was meta. What, ha what, what came in to cause it to break apart? Because that's just interesting to me. I want to know. You're kidding me! I bricked. I bricked so hard. That's crazy. Like... I've had problems with my deck every once in a while. I have never bricked that hard. I don't think there was any worst cards I could have drawn in those last two turns. Because I drew the Magician, right? I drew Harmonizing Mag Tuning Magician. And I was like... At least it wasn't Ash Blossom, because Ash Blossom would have been objectively worse. And then I drew Ash Blossom next turn! What were the odds? Also, um, yeah, if you... This is Yu-Gi-Oh! It just takes fucking forever. It's a good game, it's just like... I do wish people played a little faster. Especially, especially when they're on the winning side. Oh my god. Holy shit. It's a self-burn deck. I still think it's funny how every si every other game we've played, I ran into a self-burn deck. That's crazy to me.
It's like I could actually probably do nothing and win. Like all those face down cards is probably just GG, honestly. Hopefully I just get Heavy Storm. That would end the game really fast. Not Heavy Storm, uh, Harpy Feather Duster. Oh well, I didn't. That's fine. Let's see what they flip. <laughs> Pay 2,000 life points, make both players send all cards they control. That's funny. That's all they had? Oh, dies pendulum. I'll just speed. I'll, I'll help. I'll help it. I'll help it move along. <laughs> I like the timer. They're done next turn. So. They just ended. Okay. Fair enough. Like, I got a pretty good hand, too. <laughs> I'm in gold! I did not deserve that. I did not deserve that at all. <laughs> Claim 40. Oh, I don't get rewards for rank up? Oh well. Aside from the 200. Anyways. Time to pull. And the secret pack, because why we're playing Rikas. Or ideally. Okay. Teardrop would be massive. Another Jasmine would be massive. And Strena. Ooh. Ooh, that does not. That does not bode well. Ouch. I might not even get a UR. Oh shit. Oh shit. My luck is terrible. Oh wait, UR? Impact UR? Yes! Okay, we got one. We got one. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Okay, okay. Faith in humanity has been restored. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm surprised the golden shine doesn't guarantee a... Uh, doesn't guarantee a super rare. I thought it did. Nope. Fuck. Fairy tale. That's... Make opponent gain 500. Then top three, one, add two. Oh, okay, I see. What is the... I don't even know what the archetype for this is supposed to do, I'll be honest. I have, like, 
how many of these do I have? I have like six, I think. I have like six Stay Sailor Romarins. Oh my gosh. And... Nothing. I already have these cards, so I'm like, whatever about it. Oh my god. Ooh. Fully armored Black Ray Lancer. Gain 200 attack for each material ex attached to it. Okay. Hmm. That's pretty good. Lone Fire Blossom. Tribute one pace of plant monster, special summon a plant monster in your deck. That's good. That's good. It really is good. It's really good. Rico Glamour. Don't think I have had it though. So. Bonk. Last pack. Nice. Tribute one plant monster special summon this card from your hand. This card's a normal summon or special summon by the effect of a plant monster. You add a Rika spell trap from deck to hand. Hmm. Not terrible. It could have been significantly worse. So I'm pretty happy. Four copies. Oh my god. Oh my god. I still haven't gotten Teardrop. It's okay though. Alright. We've got all this stuff to do. But before that... I might actually swap games. But first we're gonna do this. I'm gonna go grab food. I will be back at some point relatively soon, I think. Probably like 30 minutes tops. But yeah, I'll see you all in a little bit. Thank you for waiting and just being chilling here. <laughs> Close this. And we'll just hop into this screen. The BRB. And I think we can get rid of that one. Because it's not actually an ad break. Just be like... Yeah. And then I should literally be able to pin that. Thirty minutes. All right, see you later.
Mic check. All right. It is time. <laughs> Let's see, solo. So much. Let's see, what am I thinking of doing? I'm feeling dream domination. Wow, this one's short. Oh, but you don't get any gem. Do wait, you don't get any gems for this? Oh, yeah, you do. Okay, never mind. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> but yes, welcome, JK. If you're still here, <laughs> today is going to be a day where we don't play IDV. Because I need to take a break, because I've been playing way too much of it. <laughs> like, genuinely. I've I've logged too many hours, I gotta chill. <laughs> that is a essay and a half, okay. Different effects depending on which of the two Dream Mirror field spells are active. Light and Dark Dream Mirror monsters bring more some formidable ones. All right. Now watch is fun too, but IDV is too pain good to take breaks. Yeah. I watch is so fun. Oh my gosh. It's just I have my limit. It's like I can only take so much playing and waiting in queue before I mentally lose it. <laughs> Boop. Dream Mirror, I'm feeling special summon Neroid, Dream Mirror Disciple from your hand and make his attribute dark. Activate the Disciple, make his attribute dark. Special summon by the effect of a Dream Mirror monster. I assume it's self. Not really sure, but we'll do it. Face up attack. Change the attribute. Now it's dark. Some Dream Mirror cards can use different effects depending on which of the two Dream Mirror field spells are active. Spell card Dream Mirror of Chaos, which is used for fusion summoning. Ooh, can let you use monsters from both your field and your hand as fusion materials. Not bad. Use the Nero Dream Mirror Disciple on your field and Morpheus, the Dream Mirror White Knight, in your hand as fusion materials. Alright. <clears throat> That's a thick monster. Wow, okay. Yo, that's a pretty card. Dream Mirror Urkling allows you to destroy an opponent's card when you tribute another monster on your own. That's funny. Okay. During, if Dream Mirror of Joy is in a field zone, you can tribute this card. Special summon one Oculus Dream Mirror Sprite from your deck. Use the effect of the, to destroy a bonus monster. Okay, so that was my tribute. Yep. Now I can pop that. If this card's special summoned, add a Dream Mirror card. Sure, I'll add another card. This. Activated, you can add a Dream Mirror monster from your deck to hand. If Dream Mirror of Joy is in a field zone, all monsters you control gain 500 attack defense. Okay, so joy is what we have. So we get 500 attack. Nice. I see this archetype is probably very complicated. Kind of excited to get into this a little bit more. All right, three-star duel, let's do it. 
Hopefully it gives us a pure Dream Mirror deck. Without any other archetypes. What in the... what? Okay. Okay, during the end phase, banish this card. Activate one Dream Mirror Terror Rook from hand or deck. Okay. Dream Mirror monsters you control cannot be targeted by opponent's card effects or their monster attacks except Dream Mirror monsters of the highest level. Hmm. Oh, okay, so I only need lights for that. Normal special, add a Neuroy the Dream Mirror Disciple from hand, deck to hand. Let's make this card become light. Tribute one other Dream Monster. Choose one Dream Mirror Monster from your deck with a different level. And add one of those that's mentioned. Especially some of the chosen monster in defense position. Okay. Up. Nice. Change the attribute. Yes. Okay. I'm going to set this. No. It stays as light. You can tribute one of the Dream Mirror Monster Chews. With a different level than this tributed monster. Add a Mirror of Joy or a Terror. And special summon the chosen monster in defense position. Okay, let's see what we have. <laughs> this card is special summoned by the effect of a Dream Mirror monster. Activate the effect. Can't be destroyed by battle or by card effects. During the main phase or battle phase, if Terror is in the field zone, I contribute this card. Special summon Morpheus the Dawn Mirror Black Knight, which I assume is this one. No. Dawn Mirror. Morpheus Dawn Mirror. Do I not have one? Huh. Oh no, Dream Mirror the Black Knight. Oh, why did I read Dawn Mirror? What in the world? From your deck, you can use each effect once per turn. Okay, and this one's the same thing. Okay. So this one's a Defender card. I see. This card special summon, you can add a Dream Mirror card from deck to hand. Except it kills the Dream Mirror Sprite. During the main or battle phase, if Dream Mirror of Terror, quick effect, tribute this card. Special summon Dream Mirror Mara. New Gamer 2022-7? Yo, how are you doing? <laughs> Tribute this card, you can use each... Okay, so... Man, there's a lot of options. That one's like a replicate. This also looks to be like a replicate. Good, what about me? I just ate very hot ramen. My stomach is very full. <laughs> and I'm ready to play more Yu-Gi-Oh! Sure. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but what can I do? I can, like, summon all light monsters on the field, gain 500 attack, darks lose 400, crush destroyed by battle, target a light monster and griever, add to your hand. I don't think it's worth doing it right now. You can banish this card, dream. Once just summons a monster, it's like 3,000. Hmm. Alright, I have my turn. I'm not going to activate that. Actually, wait. Activate from hand or deck. Dream mirror monsters can't be... Okay, let's just do this. Let's, let's see what happens. I want to pull from my deck. <laughs> I can just cycle! Wait, that's cool. Okay. That's good? Yes. <laughs> That's really interesting. I can just constantly cycle these. I will not be tributing. It is a quick effect, so I can just activate it whenever. I'll wait. I'll wait. I keep waiting. They sent that back, bruh. Yes. Tribute. Booyah! 
Oh, that's still not enough. Okay. Wait. Yes. A special summoned. Get clapped. <laughs> okay. What deck am I playing? I'm playing, uh... Apparently, I'm doing Dream Mirror. It's a, it's a solo mode, so I don't actually know. It's back on the field. That's okay. 300. Damage. It's very... This is an interesting archetype, honestly. I think you can very easily mill yourself if you're not careful. Oh, shit. Okay, that's not good. Um, Actually, that's okay. So be it. So be it. Uh, effect activation, tribute, and then defense. Block that. Can't be destroyed by battle or by card effects. What decks do I play? I play Pendulum, for the most part. Mm -hmm. And it's fun. I enjoy it. I'm going to get rid of this and pop a joy. There we go. All right. What is this card? Okay. Okay, that's not that bad. So I set this again. Add a new boy dream. So activate this. I can grab. Yep. Oh! Thank you for the follow, new gamer! Thank you, thank you. Greatly appreciate it. Change the attribute of the monster. Changing it to light. Yes. And I could do this, but what are the other things I can do? Dark monsters on the field gain 500. Ooh, actually... Alright, I guess the decks are sometimes annoying and no problem. Yeah, they're interesting, to say the least. I'm happy that it's not forcing me to play, like, two different archetypes at the same time, which is really nice. Uh, no, I don't want to return card to the hand. Wait. Oh, I could just send that back to the hand. Bruh. <laughs> I just was not reading my card. Wonderful. Oh, okay, so I can tribute one other dream monster. Choose a dream mirror monster that's different. And special summon that chosen monster in defense position. I don't know if I have another one of these. I think I do, though. I, I do not. Okay, I have I made Regretti. Let's see. Target one level 8 or lower dream monster graveyard. Special summon. Massive. Huge. Huge. Can't be destroyed by battle or by card effects. I don't think this person knows how to play Yu-Gi-Oh! It's a bot. <laughs> and I don't. I mean, I play Yu-Gi-Oh! It's just like... This is a lot. <laughs> this is a lot to take in. What are the other options I can do? Hope Herald. Hope Harbinger? Oh, the person you're going again? That's funny. Oh my god. When a spell card feels activated on the field, negate if you do attach that card to this card as a material. When an opponent's monster declares attack, attach one material, change the attack target to this. Perform damage calculations. Now one exceeds monster you control, it gains attack equal to one of those destroyed monsters attack. Lancelot. Start can attack your opponent directly. That's funny. Okay. During either player's turn, my spell trap card. Okay, I see. Um level eights. I will wait. Because I think I can just bulldoze. No, wait, hold up. It is optimal to do this. It's optimal. Trust. Trust in the process. Okay. And then... Battle. Attack. And then I pop this. Goodbye. Oh, I am a dummy dumb. I should have destroyed the dream mirror. So then it wouldn't actually be able to stat. Okay. Yeah. Huh. That, that would have been. I don't know how to play Yu Gi Oh! <laughs> Damn. 
Okay. I'm gonna activate this effect. Boop. Chain? Oh, sure. He keeps attacking Aroma Jar, if you know what Aroma Jar does. I've heard of the card. I have no idea what it is, though. Special summon this card can attack directly this turn. Uh, that doesn't matter. During the main or battle phase of Dream Mirror, you tribute this card, special summon Dream Mirror friend from your deck. I like this archetype. It's very interesting. Wait, so could I just do it over and over again? Hold up. Let me see something. If I do this... Right? Oh, I can't, because that's a light monster. Shit. Okay. Never mind. End turn. Wow. Romajar is a monster card where if you attack it, you can't get destroyed battle. You gain... That's funny! <laughs> you gain 500 life points if it's flipped. Oh my gosh. Okay. Target each of your banished... Oh, nice! That's huge. Actually, that's a refresh. Put those back in my deck. What is this? What am I doing? Huh? Oh, it just... It just negates my own spells? Why? <laughs> That's massive. Oh my god. Life points is a resource. I think I lost this one, unironically. I don't know how to play this deck. Okay, I think I can... I, okay, I understand how to play... I think I understand how to play it now. I just have to be careful with um when I actually pop the abilities, because I only have so many cards. Alright. Let's win. <laughs> he surrendered! <laughs> He's like, why is he hacking? This is crazy. <laughs> That'd be funny. When this card's activated, add a Dream Mirror monster from deck to hand. But, let's do that. I will be adding you. This card is special summoned by the effect. You can special summon one Dream Mirror monster from your hand. In the main or battle phase. If Dream Monster joins in the field tribute, special summon Dream Mirror Sprite. And this thing lets me add cards to hand. Aroma Char OP. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, we're going to do this. We're going to pop this effect. Add this to hand, and I'm going to change the type. And then I play this. Face up attack position. I don't change the attribute. Activate this card, return one spell trap card. Wait. Oh, I didn't play this. I'm bad. Wow, okay. Fusion summon one dream mirror. If a dream mirror joys on the field, you can use monsters in your hand. Yep. Pop this. Dream Mirror Power. It's Solo's Exodia. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Well, well, face up on the field, this is also a dark type. You can use each of the following effects once per turn. If another monster you control is tributed, target a card and destroy it. How about this? When a monster's effect is in a field zone, I need Terror. Negate the effect. If Dream Mirror Joy, quick effect. Tribute special Erkling from extra deck in defense. Okay. Okay. So let's do this. Let's do this guy. And we're going to sack these two in my hand. Face up attack position. God, these cards are pretty. Okay. And then I can do this. Boom. 
because it can't be destroyed by battle. I mean, there's a lot of cards that can bypass that, to be honest. I'm not going to trigger the swap. That's dumb. <laughs> Whack. Bonk. Oh, what? Okay, crazy. He tanked it. Absolutely insane. Forcing me to actually use my monster card. Crazy. All right. So I can bring out... No, I want to hang on to my negate. That's what I want for sure. Uh, but I want terror. Okay, so if I want... Okay, so I pop this. I want terror. No. No? Okay. <laughs> yeah, spells. Or monster effects. Yeah. Dream Master. About to end his or her turn. Oh. Hmm. I like this one. All right. Boom. Card. Nice. I don't need a mirror friend. Uh, we can just go into it, I think. Nice. Bonk. Bonk. <laughs> End turn. Nope. Nope. This one's also a really technical deck. Oh my god. It's fun. I enjoy this. It wants to get destroyed. It needs promotion. Mm. Yeah, I think, I think can't be destroyed by battle isn't a massive problem most of the time, considering most decks kind of just counter it. Because so many, there's a lot of cards that exist that's just like, hey, no, <laughs> your cards are destroyed, your effects are negated, so on and so forth. Like, I think... What? I, I can just play it right now, actually, because I realized, hey, I gotta actually do this, so. I can show you my funny Pendulum deck. That is also not like... I think it's good. I think it's funny. Alright, so... Summon. Second! Nice! <laughs> no one redeems those, it's funny. I like seeing that. Okay, let's see. If I can get that, I grab a harmonizing. Let's see how quickly I can destroy it. <laughs> Play this character? Oh, you have to... Oh, I'm not playing IDV. I should probably... Uh, I'll refund you on that. Hold up. I'm not playing Identity, so you can't... Those don't actually matter right now. Give me a second. Uh... Where's the thing? Reject. Third! <laughs> oh my gosh. Complete and complete. Alright. I want to add this. Set. Pendulum scale. Actually, this is actually suboptimal. I messed up, but it's okay. But this deck has a lot of room for mess ups. It's okay. Boom. And then I grab uh, you. Electromite powerhouse. <laughs> Squats. Oh my god. 
Okay. And water. Okay, I'll do I'll do the water after I do the squats. Thank God we're not on a timer. I got it's ten squats. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Oof. Thank you for the redeem. <laughs> oh, we're doing that. <laughs> Water. I swear to God. <laughs> Okay, I got you. First of all, fuck y'all. Second of all, my parents walked in. <laughs> that was why I was quiet. Anyways, push-ups and setups. Here we go. Why do y'all do this to me? <laughs> okay. Push-ups. I just had set. This should be good. Hopefully it doesn't fall off. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh. Ah, arms. <laughs> Got you to suffer. I so use alternatives. <laughs> All right. Setup's time. Alright, this should be good. I shouldn't be able to hit my head. Oof. Ready, and go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. I'm actually getting better at these. What the fuck? Six. Wait, did I skip one? I don't, I don't know. Did I, did I do four or five? I'll, I'll just do an extra one, whatever. <laughs> Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Hop. Oof. Gonna get strong, yeah. <laughs> I'm more Nah, actually what happens is I put a time limit on that stuff. So you can't. You can't just spam it. I thought a little far ahead. <laughs> a little bit. The timer's not like too long. I think the timer's like 30 minutes in between, which for me is more than enough exercise, I feel. So, <laughs> nice try. <laughs> All right, let's see, where was I? What am I doing? I'm pulling a card. Astrograph. <laughs> Menace. <laughs> 40K, no, no. Don't you dare! <laughs> oh my gosh. All three. That is that is something. <laughs> All three is free? I don't think it is. I don't know what you're talking about. I think you're gaslighting yourself. 
<laughs> Add the designated cards, yes. I shall yoink this. Yo, upstart! Massive upstart! Let's go! Actually, I can even up... I can do this. <laughs> it says 800 points. Yeah, no one has pressed it. I agree. No one has pressed it. Just wanted to step by after stream and take my leave now. Gotta sleep soon. Have a good day night. Yep, good night. Good night sleep. Good blah, 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 blah. Good night sleep well, JK. Thank you, thank you for dropping by and for the raid. <laughs> Send that. I grab... What do we have? We need... One, two. All right. Should be good to end our turn here. Pop this. And we grab... Oh, where'd all my... Oh, 1,500 or less, that's why. Okay. There we go. I forgot about that. Tried to glitch it? I don't think you can. <laughs> nice try, though. <laughs> uh, do I pop that? Yeah, I'll pop it. Use the effect. Choose. Choose. Goodbye field spell. Nice! Next time for sure, trust, trust. Oh my gosh. I pulled the card that I really wanted to pull. So we're going to do that. And we're going to grab Synchro. No, I need... What am I missing? Oh, I need a Pendulum Dragon. Oh, that's a rip. Okay. I actually played the card I should not have played. That's kind of funny. All right. I made an oopsie. Oh, well, it's fine. We'll just do what we can. I am misplaying like my heart depends on it. It is, it is misplay a clock. Okay, Pendulum Dragon. <laughs> we need someone with 800 points. <laughs> Wait, no, what, what's a misplay? I need to, I, I don't understand what the concept of a misplay is. Imagine getting punished for your actions. Anyways, I banish like five cards and just, you know, my chonker. Boom. <laughs> Massive W. Game is over. Stretch, I got you. Yeah. Thank you for the stretch. Wow, it is not game yet. Is very close. Oh, it could have been game. I could have uh, XZ summoned a monster, but whoops. I did not, unfortunately. <laughs> now, how do I get paid 800 points? You watch the stream. <laughs> That is how, unironically, I'm not joking with you. <laughs> like, you actually watch the stream. I think you get, is it, is it 10 points for every 10 minutes? Yeah, but I want you to give them to me. I can't actually do that. Yeah, I don't think I can. Like, I don't think it's possible, unless, like, I might be able to do a poll and then bet on the poll, but I don't even think I could bet on a poll. 
Because I have infinite points. <laughs> it's like 10 then 50 for the bonus. Yeah, and you actually get more if you're subbed. So. But again, you do not need to sub to me. I am perfectly fine just doing it the way I am. Goals. And we just skip the lore. <laughs> The fortune teller mused, only for me to just skip it. I would sub, but can't understandable. That's okay, you don't have to. Either, either way, you don't have to. Uh, I can't speak. Don't worry about it. And the point difference isn't, like, crazy. It's only, like, if you're going to sub for, like, multiple months in a row. That's, like, when I would say, hey, the the point difference between a person who subs and who doesn't is actually, like, Pretty big, but again, it's not worth it if you're going to go for, like, small. Just surprise them with it. It's Yeah, no, it's okay. You can suffer some other time, like during IDV. Domiturge, oh boy. An archetype that... It, uh, it does, is this? Target one effect monster field negate its effect until the end of the turn. If this card's in your hand, reduce fusion material. So it's a graveyard banish. You can fetch some of this card. Ooh, that's actually not bad. Holy shit. What do we have here? Despia. During the main phase, quick effect, you can change the attack. Want her to suffer now? <laughs> it's funny. Oh my god. That's... This is a fun card. Okay, I like Despia. Despia looks fun and interesting. Alright, let's see here. What can I do? A special summon this card from hand. If this card becomes dark... Okay, so I want to do... If this card is special summoned, add a thing. Not sure how many points you got now, but the cooldown's almost up. Bruh! <laughs> Bruh! This is funny, because this technically means you could build them to attack in turn one. This effect, if this card is special summoned by the effect of a dream mirror monster, so I don't have any special summons right now. I don't think me playing this has anything to do, so I'll just do this. Face up attack. Change it to dark. Oh, and I can't, okay, that's okay. 48 <laughs> sounds about right. <laughs> well, that was quick. Wow. Wow, wow, we crazy. None of this matters. I'm just going to crash it. <laughs> No damage. Wow, I really could not have gotten a worse hand. No way. No shot. Okay. I need a I need that buddy right there. Okay, hold up. If this card's normal summon, add a branded spell. Okay. Yes, activate. Okay. During a main phase, you can fusion summon using monsters from your hand or field as material. Okay. Discard one card, take a despia monster from your deck, add it to your hand. Target one despia monster and fall in the abbas in your graveyard. So I'm going to be... This one. Activate the effect. Fusion. Okay. So. During the main phase, quick effect, you could target a fusion synchro link in your opponent's graveyard, banish it, or special summon to your side of the field. When this card destroys a plus monster from a battle, you can inflict damage equal to that monster's original attack and defense. Oh. Why not? Oh, and I can fuse those cards as well. I want this. Thump. 
huge. Boom. Optional effect? 1900. <laughs> wow, that is a beat stick of a monster. What's my favorite anime? I used to be able to answer um, Assassination Classroom very quickly. I can't say that anymore. Um, honestly, I think it's gonna it's it's probably School Live. Classroom of the Elite. That's my least favorite anime. I will rather die. <laughs> I rather will I would rather do anything else. Okay, can't attack directly. The fuck is that anime? <laughs> oh shit, I did not mean to do that. Whoops. Uh okay, let me do this. No, that's dumb. I just took a thousand damage for no reason. Wait, is this stay at a thousand no it doesn't. Okay, thank god. It's it's not good. It's very bad. Which is funny cuz it's the most popular it's I think one of the most popular light novels in all of Japan. <laughs> Which is absolutely hilarious cuz I think it is extremely poorly written. It is terrible. At least to be fair, it is the anime. So it's like you know, people are like, oh, the anime is different from the light novel. And then there's me. Like, eh. Pretty bad. Actually, moving to Japan. Yo, base. Nice. That's cool, actually. Really cool. Hope you enjoy it, honestly. Come here. What are they doing? What are they doing? This is a really funny cycle deck. I, I, I can imagine people using this deck. To fish for Exodia, specifically. With, like, a mix of draws and a mix of these. Because you're just burning through cards like there's no tomorrow. You're, psych you're sifting through them. Because you play these out, and then you play your draw cards. Oh. That's a monster. Oh! If you could trade the field on this card, you target one effect, punch a special summon this card if you do negate the target's effect. Okay. Noom. Boom. Uh, yes. Dropped. To zero! <laughs> oh, wait, that's game! Shit! <laughs> Ah, that's crazy. Actually, I would have survived if I didn't accidentally attack into it. That's kind of funny. <laughs> oh my god, Tokyo's actually really pretty. I'm not surprised, yeah. Tokyo, I think Japan is one of the best countries to go to by sheer, like, looks. I think, for sure. I think it's way better than, like, America, for example. I think... There's more stuff to see that's special and unique in Japan. My opinion, though. The culture is very rich versus in America, where it's kind of like, eh. Like, overly complicated type bad or just stupid bad? It's stupid bad. It's, I think, um, I think, I think it falls into the category of idiot plot, which I don't like. Um, let's see, target, discard one card. Despia monster, add it to your hand, special summon it. Okay, let's do that. America's like, get down on your knees. <laughs> nah, you're right. That, that's true. You're not wrong. <laughs> you can make all monsters you currently control gain attack. No, I don't want to do that. Add a branded. I do want to add a branded. Boop. Oh, shoot. <laughs> it's not wrong. You're not wrong. Okay, do this. Fusion summon, what do we got? Despia, one light. When you control this fusion, must pay 600 to activate cards or effects. If your opponent controls one of these, special summon this card. 
banish it when it leaves the field. Awesome. Okay, two monsters to use as fusions? Bet. Boom. Monster. If this card is you contribute one fusion monster, special summon this card. I will never do that. Wait, wait, actually, hold up. While you control this fusion, if your opponent controls a ritual, fusion, synchro, or Xyz, or link, while this card's in your graveyard, special summon it, banish it when it leaves the field. Okay, never mind. End my turn. And in London, it's like, you got the good stuff. <laughs> That actually makes me fucking laugh. That's funny. That really is funny. But yeah. But by idiot plot, I mean like... The characters... Are... Like, the main character is supposed to be smart. But he's not smart. Everyone else is just dumb. And it bothers me. Like, it's like, come on. Okay, I already see a problem in that I can't really do anything. Hmm. Okay. Let's do this and end my turn. Yeah, it's I'm on stream. It's really hard to kind of talk about it while also doing this. So, wait, I can't quick affect it. I mean, I guess sure. Uh, negate this effect. Ow, ow. <laughs> In Japan, it's like chill, nice. Oh, massive. I just get my card back. Hell yeah. Welcome back, king. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, why are they not taking day? Oh, no, because it was special summoned. It's no longer fusion summoned. Okay, I'm starting to get it. Okay, then I want to attack into this. Okay. Main two, I'm going to try something. Because I think I can do this. Face up defense. <laughs> My favorite person. <laughs> Card games do need concentration. No, it's I can I can do like a whole two hour presentation on why it's terrible. But like, yeah. <laughs> Change the attack of all monsters on the field. Ooh. Oh, but it's level ten, so that doesn't matter. This face-up card in its owner's control leaves the field because of an opponent's card effect. You can add it to your hand. Or special summon one falling Albez or Destiny monster from your deck. Okay. I'm just going to bring this guy back out. I'm going to keep... the dude in my hand. This one's going to be a little hard to do, I think. <laughs> That's who you be here named out of nowhere. <laughs> oh, he's just gonna attack into it. Okay. Fair enough. Bunk. Ow. Okay, Dream Mirror of Chaos. Come forth.
It's like none of this matters, what I'm about to do. Like, I still think I lose just because I don't have any... I can't make a card strong enough to kill this thing. Massive damage. <laughs> I mean, I guess the good news is I got two of them out now, so... Bring back. Oh, right. Terror. Okay. Hmm. Battle. Man, I really can't do much. I got that card out so quickly. Well, that's another jester. Boom. Let's see. So this lets me fusion something from the Greek. You like beans? <laughs> I also like beans. They're really nice. Add it to your hand or special summon defense position. For the rest of the turn, you can also special summon. Actually... I want this. Goodbye, Mirror of Chaos. And I'll draw Dramaturge. That's fine. Because I think. Why can't I bring out this guy? One Despia, one Light, plus one Dark. I'm going to ram it. <laughs> Worth. 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 No. <laughs> this is a really close fight for no reason. This is so dumb. That actually worked. Okay. I like the Despia archetype, because it just lets you cycle fusion monsters, and that's really interesting. And I don't need Polly. <laughs> I can eat you. No! <laughs> you don't eat beans that much. Only food I recall eating has many beans is cheap. Ah. Uh. <laughs> don't eat me a hell of salty. <laughs> Understandable. Oh my god, he has so much attack points. Why? Why? Negate your effect. Boom. That's why Despia branded? Despia, nice. And branded, yeah, holy crap. Change to attack position. Uh... No point in this, actually. Before I do that, here's my take.
So does this change my attack as well? Nope. And I assume this nothing. Okay, just making sure. And it goes back to normal. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Dream Tormentor. Uh oh. Oh shit! Wait, wait, Sven! <laughs> Happy five months, Sven! Holy crap! Thank you! Thank you for the subby! Oh, please don't die, thank god. I hope you've been doing good. Give me a hot second. Oh my god, I can't spell. Underscore. There we go. <laughs> I hope your day's been well. Ooh, let's not instantly attack and just lose. I win. Almost. Never mind. I lied. I lied. I lied. I lied so hard. Oh god. Um... Wait. Quick play. I'm I goofed. I goofed. I goofed. I goofed. I goofed. I am misplaying every possible scenario. How is it that I'm throwing this hard? How? Okay. We're going to do this. Oh my god. We're doing a thing. We have a light monster. <laughs> Boom. Big. <laughs> oh, actually, based. I want Link Karibo. Ow. Okay. Ooh, we're good. Trigger. Drop to zero. Negate the effect. That's fine. It's still tributed. It's still tributed. Oh, man. It's good to hear that you're doing good. <laughs> All right, so what happens? Okay, so I can... One level 8 or lower dream monster in my graveyard, except for that special summon. Okay, so if I do this, activate the effect. Oh, wait, that tributes it. Oh, he's going to negate it anyway. Oh, well. Wow, I am just chilling. Activate the effect. You grab Link Karibo again. Rinse and repeat. I'm losing all my life points. <laughs> Crack down. <gasps> That's it! That's it! That's game! <laughs> Are you from Frozen? <laughs> I can't believe I actually understand that one. Oh my god. Like the Disney film? Yeah. The reindeer. <laughs> <laughs> the reindeer's just named Sven. I forgot about that. Oh my god. All right, time to time to win again. Maybe. Oh, soprano the mel melodious. Melodious. Interesting. Then <laughs> no. <laughs> Understandable. White wing. Actually, I probably am going to Pendulum Call. Get rid of this. Grab this and uh, this. But your name's Sven. Uh. Alright. Let's grab... Yep, this. Works for me. Do this. This. An attack. None of it really matters because I will not be using these cards. 
there to chain into other things. Select, grab, and we grab you. Oh, almost canceled that. It takes black. No way, that's like Beta Sweden! <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. Oh my god. Beta Sweden. Okay. So, does it say all magicians or just magicians in my pendulum card zone? Magician cards in my pendulum zone. Okay. Actually, wait. Can I just start clapping right now? I mean, kinda. I should not have put it there. I keep putting it in the wrong places. Alright, once we turn your card to face up, destroy, add one face of pendulum monster from the extra deck to your hand. So I could actually do this. Destroy Sky Iris, because I don't care about it. And grab Harmonizing Magician, which is massive. I should have attacked! What What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Why am I throwing this hard? Holy shit! My brain! Oh my god. What the fuck? Why do you have black luster? Why does it have black luster? No, the well, life's a lie. No, it's not. And yes, just like Sven says, take it easy there, gamer. It's okay. Just bing chill with us here. I don't even think I can attack into this thing and live, which sucks, but all right. Okay. Here. Life's a lie? Probably not, honestly. It's not a donkey. <laughs> I don't even know what that's supposed to mean, I'll be honest. All right, and then we get funny. This is my answer. It's a monster that destroys other monsters on the field. Get clapped. Boop. Okay, I think that actually is game. That's lethal, I think. Yeah. Jeez. Can't be bad, Analyst Henry from... <laughs> I don't even know who that is either. Anyways, that's extra gems. Nice, nice. Dueling with the Dream Mirror Earthbound. Earthbound? How bad are they? <laughs> yeah, how bad are they? If it's like, he's really bad sometimes he didn't get the animal group. Yikes! That is yikes, indeed. Daedalus, okay, I mean, sure. Cannot be normal summon, must be special summon by having four or more life monsters in your graveyard. You cannot be special summoned by other ways. Once per turn, target a field spell, another card of the field, and just get rid of them. Okay. And I want to make this light. And then I put Mirror of Joy. Then I activate the effect to summon it. Activate the effect. I am bad. Okay, actually, no, it doesn't matter, because... Okay. Wait. Oh, yeah, because I can cycle through to get this. Okay. Let's do that. Goodbye. I grab... Dream Mirror... That worried me for a second. I was like, wait a minute. One level 8 or lower dream monster in graveyard. It lets me special summon? 
Nice. Let's me bring a unicorn. Link summon, discard one card, target one card, shuffle into the deck. There is co-linked when it was activated. Draw one. Hmm. Interesting. Calling a whale a fish bad. What time is it? Not time for him to do squats, but yeah, like that bad. Yikes! The time for me is 5.55. Oh, man. I don't even really know what to do, to be honest. Uh, Let's do this. And this. Starman! <laughs> Squats and push ups and sit ups. <laughs> oh, my God. You know what? Okay. 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 Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Hold up, let me get out of my seat. So just like uh, last time, we're gonna do it in like a, like a rep system. So we're gonna do 10, 10, 10, and then we're gonna do all three, 10, 10, 10. We're gonna do it that way instead of 20 at a time. <laughs> Questioning my life choice, I'm gonna make the cooldown longer. <laughs> all right, we'll start with squats, then move on to push-ups, and then sit-ups, and we'll just loop again. One. Hmm. I'm God, okay. <laughs> Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. All right, push ups time. I'm going to move my chair more in. Oh, that's so much more space. Wow. Crazy how that looks. Alright, push-ups. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Ooh. All right. Set up time. Switch position. Ooh. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Okay. Grab up. All right, squats again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Oof. Exercise stream one. At this point, this is the exercise stream. <laughs> On to push ups. One, two. 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, oh, ten. Oh. Last but not least, setups. <sighs> yeah. All right. Three, two, one, go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh. Oh, man. <sighs> Moving a little fast? Yeah, no. I'm like actually energized. I've, d I've been doing my exercises so that these redeems wouldn't be as painful as last time. So, yeah. <laughs> 50 years is pretty fast. Indeed. <laughs> Anyways, I gotta go change this shit. <laughs> Give me a second. Channel points. I gotta I gotta like double the timer on that. That is really tiring. Alright. Edit. What is the cooldown? I'm doubling that. Alright. That uh, Save. Thirty. And this one. Oh, that one is already a thirty minutes. Cool. I get to double that to an hour. <laughs> Kidding. I'm gonna leave that thirty minutes. All right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I don't remember what this effect is. I'm going to see what it does. I'm going to see what foe does. Oh, it's a directly this turn card. OK. Okay, sub defense. What does it let me do? Special summon in defense position. I get to proc its effect. Add that to my hand. Awesome. Change the attribute? Yeah. There we go. Oof. Let's go back down. Like green cheese? What the heck is green cheese? Oh, that's a link three. Nightmare unicorn. Oh. That's rough. Well, I'm just going to play this. Bray. Nice. Okay. Part of the old production of Stroke. Yeah, you can use it. All I want to do is I'll negate the effect. So, if I do this. Oh, cool. I can. Fusion. 
Nice. <laughs> Activate the effect. You contribute one other dream mirror monster. That's not what I want to do. I want to do this. Face up attack position. Change the attribute. Oh, I misplayed again. Well, my answer is no. Select the cards to return to the deck. It's probably going to be this, to be honest. Activate effect. Oh, I just made it too strong. Uh, this is fine. Yep. Goodbye. I'm going to change so I'm not that. 250 years. Oh, man. <laughs> don't pull a Bowser. I don't even know what that means, to be honest. I'm too dumb. All right. What else can I do? I can make my own unicorn. I can amp it up. I'll just attack. Actually, I am going to activate this. Goodbye. There you go. Its attack is back to normal. Oof. Massive. Huge damage. Okay. Nice. They can't do anything. Monster reborn, baby! You know how it is. Woo! Hi, Righty! Happy birthday to me! It's belated! Woo! Thank you, thank you! Oh my gosh, I just saw that. <laughs> oh, I hit main! I'm so stupid. Select three cards to destroy. I don't know. My thing's pretty stacked. I'm ready. Hope stream's been well. Lurk ready today? That's okay. Thank you. Thank you for stopping by. Oh, man. I am tired. I love skipping my battle phases. They're so fun. Bonk. Bonk. Oof. I, I. Did you guys hear that? Did you guys hear the ouch my feelings? No? Why? Why does it do this? Okay, I want to see. I'll refund you, but... Why does it do this? Oh, I can't refund you. Why can't I refund you? Bruh. Huh? Okay, wait. Give me a, give me a hot second. Okay, I can't refund you from the looks of this, but I can figure out what's going on. 
So if I do this... No, wait. Do I hear anything? Also, I just realized my game audio has been off this entire time. That's crazy. Okay, let's try this again. Oh my god, it's on cooldown. Okay, let's try something else. It's not even playing. All my alerts stopped working. What in the world? Huh? Huh? None of them work? They're just... Wait, they're really just not working. Wait, right he redeemed second? That's not right. Hold up. Yeah, they were working earlier. They just stopped working. Hold up, righty. I'll refund you that one point, because technically you weren't second. Because someone else did redeem second, it just doesn't show up. <laughs> okay, oh my god. I, this is this is what, how I got second? Yeah, right? No, that that's weird. That shouldn't be the... What is going on? What's going on? Hold up. Let me do that. Okay, that should have fixed it. I should have fixed one thing. Getting ripped off? No, I agree. I, I am also upset that this is not working, and I don't know why. You get your one point back. Oh my gosh. Why, well, what are, why are the sound alerts not working? What's going on? Wait, it logged me out of sound alerts. Why did it log me out of sound alerts? It says it's queued. Wait, why isn't it playing then? Hello? Browser source refreshed. Can I just play it? Okay, I'll give you I'll give you your ouch my feelings back. Hold up. I got you. Where's it? where'd it go? Emotional damage. <laughs> there we go. You heard that, right? Y'all heard that? I don't know what... Ha it just stopped working. I don't know why, but it did. <laughs> it's been fixed? No? Wait, what? You didn't hear nothing? Are you sure? You saw it come up? Crook, did you hear something? Maybe try refreshing the stream if you really couldn't hear anything? Because if one person hears it and the others don't, I mean... I don't think it's a me problem anymore, not gonna lie. <laughs> Welcome back. 
Oh, that's weird. Lopter didn't play. Why didn't this? Why didn't it play? Wait a minute. It stopped working again. Why did it stop working? It just queued it. Why does it do that? Yeah, um... It fixed the issue. I just don't know why it stopped. Why did it stop? I'll I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out next time. I'm going to disable them for now. I'm going to disable them for now. That that's the that's going to be the plan. I got to figure out what's going on cuz it just queues them and doesn't do anything, which is weird. I wonder if other people are having this issue as well. Sound alert, sound alert, sound alert, sound alert. Those four. It was just four, right? Nope, there's one more. All right. Yeah, that's weird. I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is why I have the clown hat. This is pure clownery right here. It's definitely not just me. I don't know what's going on. No way. I don't believe it. Not for a second. All right, time to do stupid things. Pendulum call. And we yoink one, two. Nope, we yoink this and we yoink this. We, we yoink one of them. I don't know which one. This is one. Star pendulum graph. Pendulum summon, defense, attack, doesn't matter because we'll be feeding them into something else. Actually, no, because I'm doing this. Next turn, I will be feeding. This, I will need Skulker Bat. this. Also, let me know if you can hear the game audio, because uh, apparently it was off the entire time, and I'm not sure why. Hmm. Yeah, let's do it this way. Bring out Starving Venom so we have Beat Stick. Yeah, it's working? Nice. Okay. We grab this one. And I don't think there's another one that we really need, so we're good. Alright, we're in a pretty good spot. Dream Mirror Friend. So it's very important to have that field spell out, I've learned. Evil Swarm. Excuse me? That just nukes the field? That is rough. Okay, hold up. That is extremely rough. Okay. Holy... That was violent. Oh my god, and it's a quick effect, too. Holy shit.
that is that is quite ridiculous. Cyber heavy metal. Grab this. Astrograph. Activate. It's once per chain, too. Oh my god. Chain this. Oh, they're not gonna pop it? Why? I'm surprised they're not gonna pop it. Considering I think it's lethal, but... Okay! Sure. Final reached AR sixty. Nice. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. How many gems? I I do not have a lot. I have two hundred forty one gems. That is nothing. Oh my god. That is quite rough. Look at these. So cool. <laughs> Those three wishes gave you nothing? That sounds about right. That's about right. If it did give you something, that's the weird part. Look at these, they're so cool. I like the card backs and the icons and everything. I like how there's like one card case and it's like, eh. Eh. It's a card case. It exists. I guess. Uh. Alright, I think I'm going to go on for a little longer. What am I going to do with 241? I'm not going to do anything with 241. Absolutely nothing. Let's see. What should we do? You know what? It's a break, but at the same time... Actually, nah, nah. Let's do... Let's do Genshin. Just a little bit. Just a little bit of Genshin. Just a little bit of Genshin. <laughs> Nice, can you fade your own world? No, I'm just going to do my dailies and stuff. That's it, really quick. Yeah, it said my browser source was offline. It says everything's okay now. Weird. Very weird. Launch. Launch the game. This lets me change the info. Genshin Impact. <laughs> hey, Profile says you're building Shinobu. How that's been going? It's been interesting, honestly. I've been building Shinobu, like, on and off. I'm actually building, uh... Shinobu and Nahida at the same time 
And Nahida's almost done. Very close. Oh, that was a lag spike and a half. Trying to figure out Micah. Oh my god. Micah. Um, actually. <laughs> Once this actually boots up, we'll be good. Um, go here. Squats. I swear. <laughs> I want to go full screen, and this will let me switch over here, to here, to gaming stuff, do this, and this. Nice. Time to swap, squat, swap, yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, in adventuring, as in business, eight, you always have to seize the opportunity while it's there. Nine. Ten. All right. Oof. Done. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Logged in. Grab the stuff. Condense the resin. And we should be good. Good to go. So, we're going to do a little bit of this domain. Our goal is to get a feather for Deepwood and get two Elemental Mastery rolls on it. That is the goal. Two Elemental Mastery rolls. That's it. That's all I'm asking for. I'm not as I don't think I'm asking for much. And by that, I literally just mean if it comes with Elemental Mastery as a base stat, I just need one roll into it. That's how little I need. I do not need a lot. I need just a little bit. That is how close I am to finishing Nahida. I'm very, very close. Ow. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. We're chilling. We're doing okay. I also learned recently that destroying artifacts get you Mora. Yep, although I would suggest strongboxing them instead. That's my opinion. I don't think anyone's ever in need of large amounts of Mora like that. Yo, I cleared out so fast, does... I, I, that's like the average... If I don't clear a domain in like 30-ish seconds, I'm clearing it slow. Like, that's what I learned. That's why like I don't want to ever do like the Ito domain and stuff like that. Because even though I want to build Noel, I clear it so slow. As a more broke person, it's helpful. Do I like Pokemon? Uh... I mean, yes. 
Like, I, I like Pokemon. I just, like, don't play the games. The only Pokemon game I would ever play is probably Legends Arceus. Which, to be fair, is probably the best Pokemon game. I mean, I did play through Fire Red, like, three times, but... That was because I liked it a little bit, and I was on the train. And whatnot. I had literally nothing to do on my commute. Come on, Deepwood Flat... Deepwood Feather with EM stat. That's all I need. I need one roll on it. I'm used to clearing them in around a minute. Kind of tells me you probably need to level some stuff more to get better artifacts. Yeah, fair enough. Got to go. All right. Thank you for stopping by, gamer. Hope you have a good one. Oop, I did not mean to do that. Yes. <laughs> but yes, take care, take care. Oh my god. Wow, that's interesting. Wow, this is okay. It's pretty copium. I just need one flower. It's it's just one flower. I don't think it's that much to ask for personally, but you know. You know how Genshin can be. You know how stingy it can be. Okay. Oh, one of them doesn't have the dendro on. We're good. Chillin'. Alright. If only they added more boxes in the stronghold? Yeah. I agree, if only. If only. Bye, new gamer! Have a good one! <laughs> oh my god. I just needed a feather with EM main stat. I mean, EM sub stat. Actually... How desperate am I? I'm extremely desperate. This isn't enough, by the way. I need, like, one roll. 19's very close to being enough, but it's not. So, okay. We've got one right here. I'm gonna unequip this. I'm gonna equip this. This is what I need it to roll into, right here. Elemental Mastery 16. That needs to jump up. <laughs> See you tomorrow? Uh, I will not be streaming tomorrow. I might not even stream all of next week, unfortunately. We'll have to see. I'll have to see how it goes. Thank you for the water. I will drink some right now. Yep. I'm going to instantly take this artifact and throw it right into there. I just needed to roll Elemental Mastery once, and it rolled it way more than once. That's a win in my book. Nahida's done. I just needed it to roll once, and it did its job. Massive. Absolutely massive. It rolled it again. 77. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm gonna lock this. Yeah. Nice. 1049 Elemental Mastery, 4 piece Deep Wood. Yes! And yes, you, you feel free to join my Discord. Because that everyone is there. Pretty much. So, yeah. Make sure, you know, abide by the rules and everything. I shouldn't have to say it, but, you know. Some people can be bad apples. You know what I mean? Anyways, I think Gilded Dreams is another set that would be good on Kuki. But at the same time, I'm like... I don't really need... Like, Gilded Dreams is a good set, period. I just don't really need it. You're a good apple. Oh. I don't see you at all here.
Oh, are you Cheesy Feet 23? I don't know why it didn't show up. Why your thing didn't show up on the thing. Yeah, okay. I can see now. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I wasn't sure. I was like, this random person sent me a friend request. Why is that? Who is this person? <laughs> But yes, good to have you here. All right, for this, we're going to need as much elemental mastery as humanly possible. And you'll be like, oh, this is a terrible idea. Why are you, why are you, why are you going to farm for this? Yes. Yes. I will be farming this specific set for Kuki Shinobu. I need that 40% Hyperbloom damage bonus because I hate myself. It's going to be absolute pain and suffering, but it's going to work. Trust in the process. And I can definitely get a better flower than this one, though I would like energy recharge as well. So this stat isn't completely wasted. So I guess it would I would be lucky if my artifacts back here, if these get if these roll energy recharge, it'll probably be good. Hyperbloom is very good, but the artifact domain in general is really bad. Because <laughs> there's like little to no use for it outside of Hyperbloom. Like, I'm pretty sure it's. Someone's been surrounded by Hilly Churls? That's funny. That's funny. No one's in Hilly Churls in Mondstadt. Nothing is. Nothing goes wrong in Bossing Say. Grab this. I just realized the music's very quiet. I can barely hear it. Hold up, how loud is it for you guys? Oh, it is super quiet for all of you. Hold up, let me actually make it louder. Yeah. That's just that I play it on low audio. Okay, I'm gonna lower the the other stuff. The music itself is good. Gotta lower music by one. Paimon coming in! Paimon coming in! Is this level okay? That okay. Did you hear Paimon? Paimon coming in! Paimon coming in! Is this level okay? Paimon's coming in. Is this level okay? Is it okay? Can you hear Paimon? I don't know. I'm not sure. Alright. No honor among these. Ah, yes, Paimon. It's okay. I see everything. Alright. All right. Pick the wrong test subject. Pick up, pick up, and we keep going. <laughs> Can I hear Paimon? That's a good question. Maybe, maybe not. Welcome back, new gamer. <laughs> Time to go. <laughs> Hope you've been well. It's been a while since I've last seen you. Quite crazy, even. <laughs> Up. Follow the wind. Ding. All right. We should have enough time. Miss Jell, it's been three years. That's one hell of a time skip. <laughs> Three years stream. Oh my god. I can only imagine. Only imagine. Nice. Impregnable defense. <laughs> Time flies when you're having fun. Welcome to Genshin Impact. We're we're about to we're about to fight Signora again. It's she's been revived for like the fifth time. <laughs> 
myself. I see everything. Hyper blue. Hyper blue moment. Hyper blue moment. One hundred percent completion. And there's like one Fatui guy right there. She became a phoenix? Oh my god. Honestly? I would love to see that. I'd love to see Signora just be completely unkillable. <laughs> It'd be really funny. It'd just be a running gag. But I doubt it. Honestly, with a lot of the... I'm interested in what the lore for Genshin has to has to go on for. Because I really do like the storytelling in the game. That was not Sumeru. I mean, not, not Inazuma. Oh my god. I'm getting the regions mixed up when I really should not be. I, I, I have a gripe with Inazuma. It's just... Uh, I, I really did not like it. It, 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 was, it was the region. It was the region. That's all I can say. It was a region. Alright, daily commission rewards up here. <laughs> yeah, too how funny would they be if they reeled her cock and her arm just comes out of it? Yeah, most people didn't like Inazuma story wise. That's that was a lot of the complaints, honestly. And I've seen like videos like defending you know, Raiden, Kokomi. Um, I've seen opinions that do the same, and I'm like, no. No. Even... I know I didn't at the climax especially. I liked the climax for one reason. It was spectacle. It was the one part of the Inazuma main quest storyline that I genuinely enjoyed solely because it looked cool. That was it. That was the only reason. Other than that, no redeeming qualities. Be back in 20 years? Oh my gosh. See you in 20 years, friend. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like, I like Raiden, but I know what she did was awful. I don't like how they forgave her so fast. I also agree. I did not like how she basically got away with it scot-free. Like, she actually suffered... To my, to my knowledge, she suffered zero repercussions for what she did. Like, nothing happened. Everyone, like, Watatsumi Island forgave, like, the war basically never happened. Tepe died from this? I'll be honest. I've seen the arguments for and against Tepe. I agree in the sense that I feel like his character was rushed and was just, hey... We need you to feel bad about a character. Here is that character. Hey, 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 people. What's up? But yeah, no, I think... I think Tepe was... Tepe would have been a good addition if we were introduced to him earlier in the storyline. And by earlier in the storyline, I mean, like... Have him as an Inazuma NPC that we meet in, like, the first chapter. Like, just getting into Inazuma, we should meet him, and then he should be, like, a refugee who went over to Watatsumi because he disagreed with the Shogun. And then, from, like, we would get, like, constant cameos of him as we went out. Not, don't introduce him, like, in the final arc of the, the storyline. That's not it. Yeah, he forgot about it. Yeah, no, they did Dunyarzard really good. Dunyarzard was amazing. That was a good NPC. Because she actually mattered. She actually had, like, relevance to the story. Which was crazy. Yeah, I'm doing good. <laughs> I'm doing good, new gamer. How are you doing? I hope you too are doing good. Let me switch. Alright. Nice. I'm gonna keep going. Aside from Tepe dying, what didn't make sense to me was the Kazuha forgiving her for Tomo. That made no sense. Yeah, jeez. It's like, 
I can understand the, oh, I've coped with the death of my friend, I'm willing to move forward. But, like, the fact that he's perfectly fine getting buddy-buddy with the Shogun bothers the crap out of me. Like, it hurt my brain. Ah, I, I I can only complain about the Inazuma storyline. I mean, not true. There there are some good parts to it. Like I liked water, water. I got you. I I'm actually I'm gonna I'm gonna actually refill my water. That's a good idea. What are my orders? The war took place in less than a year, and yeah, same. Like, ah, uh, it made no sense. The story writing for Inazuma was. Eh. I liked. I liked Yoimiya's section. Now, this may play into a little bias, right? Of like, oh, you like Yoimiya because you're a Yoimiya simp. It's like, okay, yes, but also, I felt like it was a valid thing. It was like, oh, you have to distract, you have to make fake visions and everything. It's like, I think, I, sh I think the whole, the whole traveler helping the people with visions was okay. It was just they really, they really sold the sob story when traveler was just kind of like, bro, I can't do this anymore. I gotta look for my sibling. It's like, and Raiden doesn't help. Raiden, right? We get nothing. We get nothing. Like it sucked. Like he's not really a vengeful person, but you can never imagine to be friendly, right? It's like my other problem was that they 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 wasted the story. They wasted the story quests. It's like. I would not have hated Ayaka as much as I do now if her story quest was different and not mandatory to continue the Inazuma storyline, which I already have negative thoughts about. Same thing with Yoimiya. I think Yoimiya's story quest was a complete waste. I wish it was something else <laughs> and not critical to the main plot of Inazuma. As well as Kokomi's. I thought Kokomi's story quest was perfect filler. Like it literally had no relevance to the plot. I don't I don't think it did, did it? Cause it was just like her entire story quest was basically ooh woo, I like the traveler. Simp simp simp. That 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 was what I gathered from her story quest. I'm sorry. Bye y'all, text you tomorrow. Bye! <laughs> Yeah, it was, I was extremely disappointed with the Inazuma storyline. It also didn't help that a majority of, like, a majority of the storyline itself was really hard to, for me to just sit through, because I didn't like any of the exploration that I had to do in Inazuma for the, for the most part. It was rough. I didn't mean to do that. Hey! Wind strike. With sword comes shadow. Aggravate, aggravate. Nice. You gotta break all these things. Doesn't help that you never use the boats because you hate the controls. Yeah, it's like the worst part about the boats in the worst part about the boats is the fact that they control, like, boats in real life. That is why they suck. <laughs> That's the worst part. It's realistic, but it's garbage. I hate it. Boop. Yeah, they just suck. Stick with crowd units? Yeah, unless it's like a straight line, pretty much. That's the only time. Like, traveling from island to island, I'm like, yes, perfect. I'll just cryo Brit. I'll, I'll like, I'll, I'll use the boat. Why? Because I go in a straight line, I don't need to turn. But anything else, I'm like, no, please. No more. No more of this bull. 
Oh yeah, and if you are, if you're curious, I have not finished Sumeru. Why? Because I cannot be bothered. Like as much as I love Sumeru in terms of story quest, and people say, "Oh, Sumeru is a fun place to explore," my brain just says, "I don't have, the, I don't have the time for it." Yep. Nice. Wow, I'm not getting a lot of those. I gotta get up there somehow. This way. Alright. These are nice little stamina fruits. Run with nature. Yeah, with massive sped on it, but took a while, yeah. Hopefully that's enough to get me up there. Probably. All right. Run up this way. There's a nice little rock that I can perch on. Oh. Oh. Yeah, even like, you can even see it. Like there's a couple waypoints I didn't unlock. I only recently unlocked this. I haven't un I haven't done anything here. I haven't even done all the Sumeru quests, to be honest. I still have some that aren't finished. Mostly the story quests, just because I've been doing other stuff. All right. Speed of light. Let's just do this. Keep it up. Oh. Nice. Alright, there's another one this way. If I remember correctly, there should be a zip line. Oh, nope, there's a zip line. I have to make it, though. Missed it. I think there's one up here. No? Wow, okay. I was I, I thought for sure there was another one. For sure, but I guess not. There's a few story quests and main archon quests left. Ah, I see. That reminds me, I gotta do like the Dane's Leaf stuff as well. Because I have not been doing those either. And I I see people doing spoilers like you've been you've been manipulated by Dane's Leaf. I'm like, I haven't even done the quest yet. I have no idea what you're talking about. I think you're just gaslighting me, honestly. That's an accurate representation of how I feel about half the half the Genshin videos that I see. Wow, that was fast. Okay. Nice. This one was such a pain. Oh my god. Okay, wait. Actually, no. I didn't go this way. I was over here. And I climbed. Because I tried to go the other way and just was like, nah. Nah. Good luck. Wait a little bit. Now we gotta climb this thing. Thankfully, this is the easy way to get up there. And I gotta go mushroom farming as well. Time to go. I mean, he's been the most helpful of us compared to the other Archons, so fair trade? Yeah. Yeah. I mean... Hmm. You say that. I say that. Uh, yes and no. I think Nahida's been... useful. Or helpful. 
Useful, useful has a very bad connotation. I very much appreciate Nahida and how we actually got some like lore bits. Like the conclusion to the the conclusion to Sumeru Archon quest was really good. I really liked it. And it's Okay, I know we're talking about Genshin. But remember when I said my least favorite anime was Classroom of the Elite? Yeah, the reason why I liked the Sumeru Archon quest was it basically did what Classroom of the Elite tried to do, but actually good. That's why I hate Classroom of the Elite, because you're like, if you, if, if you, for some reason, if you, for some reason, hate the Sumeru Archon quest, you would hate Classroom of the Elite. But if you liked the Sumeru Archon quest, what did you like about it? I want to know, because odds are Classroom of the Elite doesn't actually do that. So, I don't know, that's just my, my, my opinion. Aside from her, no one else has helped as much. Yeah, I agree. Like, Venti, we, we know Venti knows more shit, but he doesn't say anything. I love Venti, though. I love his character design. Same with Zhongli, I, I don't give a damn about A or Raiden. I, I really don't. I could not be, I could not be bothered. In the most disrespectful way, I do not care. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't like the Raiden Shogun, and which is why I'll never pull for her. I don't like Kokomi, that's why I'll never pull for her. I don't like insert character, I, this is why I'll never pull for them. Oh, I messed that up. I'm just gonna pop this. Up. Nice. I think that was the last one I really could have done. We all love Eddie because he's fun. We love John Lee because cough daddy. Yeah, and A just exists. A exists because of one reason. Mihoyo said, hey, wouldn't it be funny if we had an Archon that pulls the sword out of their chest area? That was why we made A what she is. I, I really think they needed to have a different... <sighs> Man, also a, the A story quest. I can't, I can't. I can't. I can't. She's so. She acts so much like a boomer. Like holy shit. They really said, hey, hey, we're gonna make her the most disconnected archon ever, and we're gonna put events there that also combine it with basically waifu bait. And I lost it. I played the A Archon quest and I'm like, bro, I'm the A the A story quest and it was horrible. I hated it. I hated every second of it. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. At the same time, it was an experience to say the least. I never want to experience that again. So I was very thankful when, um, when, you know, they didn't do that for, um, they didn't do it for any of, they didn't have that level of writing in the Sumeru quest. It was literally, like, they literally took everybody's complaints for the Inazuma storyline and said, you know what, in Sumeru, we're just not going to do that. And then they didn't. Crazy. Personally, I liked Boomer A, but Archon Quest ruined her for me. Like, why'd they make her so bad? Why did everyone forgive her so fast? Those are my biggest issues. Yeah. It was like, I say, oh, it was like Boomer A. I don't mean that as in, like, an insult, honestly. I mean that as more of a, oh my god, these things, I hate them. I mean that as more of, like, A, they boiled A's personality down to, is Boomer, is waifu bait. And something something she learned about eternity because camera. Like, come on. That wasn't. Come on. It's. No. No. Cannot cook. Oh my god. I don't. Do they. Do they even bring that up? In the Archon quest, I forget.
Yeah. Oh yeah, not to mention the whole like the whole Watatsumi art. I think Watatsumi was like the weakest ever. <laughs> it was it was the weakest part of the Archon quests. It was not good. Oh, she got to see her interact with her citizens more in her story quest. I agree. I think it would have been cool if it was like a different character dragging A around, like Sara or Yai, and we got to see them interact with the other characters, and we just had to look. And then we would, at the end, we confront A about all the stuff that's been going on and see if her mind has changed, and she says no, and then we explain, no, 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 and it's like, yeah. Like, I wish that was what it was, instead of us showing her around, we show her the, like, we do this whole other scene she's confused the entire time like i, I would have liked that instead i would have loved i would have loved like that level of stealth mechanic or like that we're not actually supposed to be there you know what i mean like i would have liked that personally i don't i can't i can't speak for everyone of course but that's just my opinion There's a lot of things that I think could be fixed with Sumeru, but that's what it is. And honestly, I don't think I have the time nor the willpower to actively do all the Sumeru quests. Like, the only quest I might still do in Sumeru is the Cat Shrine quest, because I never did that, so... I'll probably do that, honestly, at some point down the line. Nice. Bing! Alright, so we need some of these. We need just those. Nice. Because then it feels like Hoyo wasn't trying to make her uwu cute to forget. That was, yeah, that was terrible. It would it would have worked as a second part, yeah. Because you, sh you shouldn't have it as part one. Like, are you telling me the only redeeming qualities of the Shogun is that she's cute? Like, that... Do you have any idea how depressing that sounds? That sounds really depressing. Like, god. That hurt my brain. It hurt my brain just saying those words out loud. <laughs> the only redeeming quality to the Shogun is that she's cute. That's it. I'ma also be honest. Design, mid. Anyways. Yeah, I really don't like the Shogun. There, she has no- for me, she has, like, no redeeming qualities at all. I can respect her design, but it's mid, my opinion. I have murdered many of my people- but listen, 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 I can't cook, and I like sweets. What are you gonna do? Convince me of war crimes? Nah. You see this? It's like, it's so dumb! Gotta disagree about the design, but agreed with everything. No, I understand. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion, right? Like I'm not a fan I'm not a fan of um of her design period. Such as This one's a little complicated to explain. I'm not a fan of Kokomi's design. For one reason. Because I'm disappointed in it. Where is she? You see this? She looks so good. Hi, Shay. You see this? Look at Kokomi. She looks so good. You hear? You hear Kokomi slander? Okay, no. So there's a justification for this. I hate Kokomi's design because I'm disappointed in it. Look at Kokomi. She is beautiful. Okay. Her design, amazing. When she ults, when she uses her skill, I don't know why. Why are her clothes so stiff? It's like cardboard and wire. There's no flow, in my opinion. Or maybe there is so much flow to it that my brain just does not process the stuff is moving around, so it looks stiff. That's my opinion. That's what- that's whenever I see Kokomi being played, whenever I play her in Trials, her body is moving a lot. She herself is doing flips and stuff, but her clothes kind of remain stiff, 
which is why, from my point of view, I don't like that. That is why. Her base design's amazing. I think it was just executed through her kit poorly. That's me. You will need to test that when you can. I agree, because I don't have Kokomi. I don't. I didn't pull for her. <laughs> and then Raiden Shogun. The funniest part, I think I always said this. I, I, I saw the Raiden design. I saw the leaks for it. I'm like, I'm not interested. And passed. I saw Sara's design. I said, that's good. Look at that. Look at the flowiness. Was I disappointed I didn't get to see the Tengu feathers all the time? Yes. I was extremely disappointed. Very disappointed. Yeah, because as a fish design, flowiness is important. And they nailed they nailed the flowiness with her body movements. I just think her clothes don't work. Yai's design, amazing. Do I like her personality? Eh. I think Ayato's funny. The only reason I don't pull Ayato was because I have child. That's the only reason. I really wanted Boba me. <laughs> but one must make sacrifices. Let's see. Yelan. I have Sing Cho. I didn't pull for her. This was when I was tight on Primos. I didn't want to use it on Yelan. Let's go with Hohi and Honkai. <laughs> Ayato would have been a very good character if he was introduced earlier. Yeah, because no. Yeah, no. I think he's still okay. He's not amazing, but he's pretty good. Ito. I, I want Ito. I really want Ito. The problem is he's such he's he's in need of a geocentric team and I don't want to build Geo. That's why. The Boba sold me for Ayato, yeah. Oh my god. Also you triple crowned? Venti? Massive. Absolutely massive. <laughs> god. He looks so good. Sino, I like him. I think playing Sino is fun. But he didn't he seemed very similar to Deha, which I already had, and he was competing with her on the banners. And I didn't actually like Nilo's gameplay. It felt very slow and clunky to me. Wanderer I didn't get solely because I wasn't interested in him, to be completely honest. Like, I liked the fact that he could fly, but that was about it. And Alhatham reminded me of the... Wait. Oh, ads? Huh? Rip. No. Wait, I got uh... you. Mm, whatever. Wait. Huh? No. Uh, whatever. Wait. Huh? No. Uh, whatever. Anyway, as should be done. And then there's Al Haytham. Now, this is actually relevant because I did bring up Classroom of the Elite. Al Haytham is literally the main character of Classroom of the Elite, but he's actually flawed. That's why I like Al Haytham. That's it. Also, his gameplay's fun. Although, I do think his skill cooldown is too long, my opinion. It's like literally one to half a second too long. So close. So close to being Wait. perfect. Huh? For me. No. 
I'm so glad you can hear Class with Elite Slander moment. This stream has had at least three separate Class with the Elite Slander moments. Two of which happened in the past 30 minutes. <laughs> Who else is there that I can talk about? Mona? I want Mona. I just haven't been lucky. Or I guess unlucky. I have Constellation 2 Gene. I think I think I have Constellation 2 Gene. Constellation 3 Diluc. Constellation 1 Chi Chi. Constellation 2 Kaching. Like, I'm missing... I'm missing Mona. <laughs> oh my god. All of a sudden, you'd, since I had to do a surprise collab, all of a sudden I don't like Alhatham. That's funny. Why is that? <laughs> Literally pulled Alhatham just for my Nilu. He's much stronger than I thought he would be. Yep. Yeah, Alhatham does work well with Nilu, but you know who does work even better? Probably Kava. Or Kava. Whatever, whoever Alhatham's roommate is. He works really well with Nilu, based on just pure kit speculation. Very well. Personally, wish he's just not for me. His personality just irks me. Yeah, I know. Don't worry, Shay. I know his personality irks me. That's why I hate the protagonist for Classroom of the Elite, because they have pretty much the exact same personality. It's one to one. <laughs> Actually, the the guy from Classroom of the Elite's a lot more suffer, a lot more insufferable. Because I'll hate them at least admits, uh, oh, I w the entire plan coming together, that was sheer luck. Honestly, it was kind of luck based. He admits that. I like it because even if he's even if his head is up his ass, he knows that not everything is all because of his thinking. I appreciate that. That earned my respect as opposed to Ayunokuji, who second half of season one, Wait. bullshit plan nearly 100% RNG, and he said, all according to plan. Whatever. It's like, come on. Anyways. But yes! Lost two to Kazaha and Xiao. Mm. Hopefully. <laughs> Very excited to try and snipe him for her, yeah. Oh my gosh. I really want Kava as well, because it's fun, because he has a briefcase! He has a briefcase! All according to plan. <laughs> Me when I cook chicken in the oven and it comes out juicy. Ah, yes, all according to plan. <laughs> I just, I, I really wish it was like the Hitman thing. Like, I wish he was a catalyst and his ranged attack was just throwing his briefcase. <laughs> That'd be so funny. <laughs> oh my god. I wish. I wish. But yeah, Candace's design is like S tier. I love, I love the design. It's very flowy and it really works. And she's a polearm and shield, amazing. To me, I'll hate them as like Ayunokuji, except he doesn't need to act ever. The problem with Ayunokuji is I can't tell when whether or not he's acting or not. And that's not because I can't pick up on the character. It's because he does so many different things and he acts so many different ways. And I feel like I know what he's supposed to be. And I'm like, none of this matches. A, like, it very easily doesn't match. And th to me, that's part of, oh, I know what he's thinking all the time. So I already know what his personality is. How do none of the other characters see that? Which is which is the first the first slander for Classroom of the Elite is why don't you like Classroom of the Elite? Because it's an idiot plot. Ayuno Kuji's not smart, everyone else is just dumb. And this again only applies to season one because I haven't I have not read enough of the light novel. I do not intend to read the rest of the night light novel. I do not intend to watch season two. So purely from season one, I do not like Ayuno Kuji. Or the entire show. Why? Because the entire thing's an idiot plot. And it gets really tiring to see. It also just fails. It makes every writing sin under the sun. It's like, I, I genuinely don't understand how people watch season one of Classroom of the Elite and say, I can't wait for season two. I wonder what's going to happen in season two. It's like, I can tell the future. It's like, I don't need to, like, you finish season, like, for me, I finish season one, I'm like, I don't need to watch anything else, because I know how this is going to end. And yes, Candace, amazing. Oh my god. 
Child, amazing. Child's an amazing character. Is he crazy? Yes. Is he all a bunch of terrible, terrible things? Yes. But he's a flawed character. He has good. He has bad. It's a wrapped package. He's a very morally gray person leaning towards morally black. It's like... He's really bad as a person, but he also isn't doing it because, you know, he's a complete psychopath. It's a bl it's a blend. He's a complex character. It's crazy. It's a 3D character. Wild. Absolutely insane. I love Child. And yes, it's pure gameplay fun. Out of all the five stars I have on my account, he is my favorite. Out of any character in my account, he is my favorite. By far. No, no contest. Like, Yoimiya, Kuki, and Ganyu, they come pretty damn close. Venti, same thing. I just don't play him as much, but I love him. I love him so much. He's the honorary femboy. <laughs> Love Amber. There's not. I don't own a lot of characters I hate. I just don't like Micah's voice, which is why I don't play him. <laughs> I just luck. I just happen to get him. So yeah. I mean, there's a lot of character. I haven't seen Faruzan at all. Layla's cool. I've seen Dory. I love Dory. Like Dory is like the opposite of Child. Like he's not a He's not a comp... Dory's not a complex character, in my opinion, at least from what I've seen. I haven't read any of the lore or anything, because I don't... As you can see, there's, like, no lore here, except for here. She's very simple, and I love it. She's a merchant. She wants your money. She's got a slime to attack people with. Look at how cute that is. Holy shit. I should rebuild him sometimes. It's been a while since you played him. Yeah. Like, my child build is interesting. Like, I think my child's like the equivalent of like an endgame child. Burst damage and this. It's not perfect, but this gives me the best overall damage, I think. Pretty decent stats across the board. It could be better, but hey, that's what it is. Hu Tao is very nice. I have her on Homa, I have her on C1. She's one of the few 5-star characters, like, limited 5-stars I have in C1. The other being Yai Miko. And I got her on complete accident. Like, I didn't even intend to get her on C1, I just did. Plus her design's an 8? Yeah, very good. I love... I love Hu Tao. Hu Tao's design is very good, because it's extremely flowy. It doesn't look like it's flowy, it just has like the little bits here, right? It has the little hat parts, her hair, that's it. There's not a lot of super flowiness to it, but whenever she swings, it's fast yet slow, but you can see her clothes flap around. It's a simple design that's pretty and flows well, as opposed to Kokomi, which I think either if it does flow well, quote, quote, if it flows a lot, quote, quote, there's just too much clutter, too much visual clutter, and I just can't tell what's going on, which is why I didn't like her. So, and you, you see that I tend to like characters with very kind of simple designs, like Child's design, all things considered, is pretty simple. It's a suit, it's got pants, it's got like one flowy thing, small flows here, and a little bit of flow there, right? Ganyu, she has the little skirt in the back. The long hair. You're not even moving a lot. Kuki's the only one that I really like. And you don't see a lot of that flow there. Because she's one of the few characters that don't have much of it. Amber's cool. Ujo Sara has like a lot of flow here. But usually you don't see it. It's weird. Sacrifice your guaranteed causes it to get Shinobu based. Drift to that one area that looks like skin. <laughs> this is the scholar 
skin. It's okay. I think I actually do like the Librarian more. Honestly. I feel like it fits. Ducky is cute. I keep this one. Toma's... Toma's... That's good. You see that spin? That's a perfect example of not too overkill. It's enough. Like, his ult is super cool. It looks really good, because this just flaps up as he crouches to the ground. Amazing. I don't really have much to say on Yanfei. There's not a lot of flow. I'm not a huge fan. It's okay. I've never played Aloy. Deha's got a perfect flow. I love how she plays. I love how she looks. She has perfect everything but her kit. It's like, this is like me just judging characters at this point, and it's like, whatever, but... You get the gist. There's there's a balance that you need to strike for each character. And I think for the most part, Genshin does it very well. There's some characters where I wish there was more kooky, some that I wish was less kokomi, but yeah. That's my opinion. You can feel the heartbeat of the world. You can feel the heartbeat of the world. Nice. 41. I'm not going to do any of that. That's okay. Oh yeah, the fungus event. Yeah, I'll do that at some other point. I'm not going to do it today. That's not happening. <laughs> it's very distracting. Have you done the fungus event? Nope. Nope. I heard that it's a mix of Mechanikai and fungus. I am not looking forward to it, to be honest. Mechanikai has gotten has fallen off. I liked I still like the original more than any of the other versions they've had of it. And the fungus event was fun, but it was kind of very straightforward. Yep, not gonna lie, I found it kind of fun. Okay. That's good to hear. It's like a small chessboard. Hmm. I think it's you are you have control of fungus and you're trying to destroy the towers, am I right? There's like tower defense, but you're going up against the tower, if I remember correctly, from what they said about it. That. But yeah. And that's my dailies done. And yes, I have cleared Abyss, but only 35. Weena is a pain in the ass, and I don't, I'm, not, it's not worth it. I've learned if I need to, if I really need primos, I spend five dollars for a Welkin Moon. It's it's whatever. So I don't feel scared at all. You can move your funk. I tell them which we can. That's nice. I love the specific. The little, I love being able to directly tell my units what to do. Very nice. And yeah, I'm not primo starved at all. I have enough for now. For what characters are gonna pop up? I don't know. I'll be pulling for a Kava. I'll drop like a 10 for drop 10 or 20 pulls for Kava, and if I don't get him, oh well. I'm not too needy for him, because I don't use Bloom, I use Hyper Bloom. So, and I, I'm not sure about his character at all. We'll have to see. And I hear both him and Baiju are very constellation locked, apparently, so I'm not looking forward to that. How many wishes is that? I think it's like 50 wishes or something. I'm very greedy, so I would love to get him, yeah. Time to go. I heard, yeah, no, I've been hearing a lot of... They, they've they been dropping the ball. MiHoYo has been dropping the ball a lot when it comes to kit designs. It's like, first you have Deha. That was a mistake. Then you had Mika. Also a mistake. And then you have, like, Mika's kit is not amazing solely because he's meant to be a physical damage support and probably for eula however his thing is attack speed which is not what eula needs eula needs stuff to make her rotations faster she needs a dedicated battery she needs an actual healer slash interrupt resistance so you might as well just use diona at that point come on you squeeze out like maybe i'm gonna look at her talents you squeeze out Another 200% on her ult. That is nothing. You're not going to get a damage, a massive damage increase with her, no. 
Especially when you can probably use someone like, I don't know, Bennett? Shinyan? Because she, she provides physical damage increase. <laughs> and a shield. And pyro application. If you just want to... I'm just saying, if you want to melt, you could also melt. Like, compared to vape. Yeah, no, physical sucks. Physical is terrible. In, in this abyss, it's really bad. Yeah, and there are better alternatives that aren't Constellation Lock, which is the other thing. Micah's Constellation Lock, which is stupid. <laughs> oh yeah, speaking of Constellation Lock, Farozan, terrible kit design. Or more like, bad kit design. And then you get Constellation 6, and then she becomes the best Nemo support in the game. For Mono Animo, Animo. So it's like, <laughs> what the fuck? It means they know how to make a good character, they're just going to Constellation lock them, so they're just doing it on purpose. As much as I love Fizz units and playing around with them, Fizzy's not being Hyper Bloom, Vape, or Melt. Yeah, I agree. I 100% agree with that. Like, even, even characters that I don't think are necessarily completely flawed have issues. Like, it's not super bad kit design like Farzan or... Mika, but like Constellation 1 Duration is increased by 3 seconds Why? Just make her kit last The entire rotation Just make it la Just make it last For 12 seconds <laughs> Why does it have to be Constellation Law? I feel like constellation locked constellations should unlock new ways to play your character. It should not be used to gatekeep what they're normally used for. Like, like where is it? Shang Ling, for example. It's like, eh? You know what I mean? Like this is this is not an example of what I would call gatekeeping a character solely because this just improves Shang Ling and she was already good. Bennett, same scenario. This doesn't, you don't need Constellation 1. It's not a gatekeep. It's just a quality of life. A genuine quality of life. Bennett's HP falls below 70. Energy, again, quality of life. It's not an amazing Constellation and I wish it was better, but hey, okay, sure, whatever. This one unlocks Pyro Kaching for some fucking reason if you want. Pyro Eula. I'm just saying, new way to play the game. If it was toggleable, it'd be one of the best constellations in the game. If it goes away so fast it's hard to take full advantage of it, try to I take a barely pull off full rotation port and a damn. Sounds about right. Xiao? Xiao is a very good example of what I like. It solves a couple of his normal problems, which aren't too bad to begin with if you play correctly, right? It's not like Farzan, where you can run 300% energy recharge and it's still not enough for her, right? This is a waste, but Constellation 6 Shao completely changes the way you can play him. He is no longer a plunge spamming beast. This guy? Holy shit. Eula? You can play quick swap Eula now. Again, that's constellations. What about I don't know. What's another character? Rosaria, right? She was already pretty good, right? Crit damage, crit rate, crit rate. That's pretty good. What happens with her constellations? Oh, normal attack speed for herself. Oh, that boosts her main DPS. Rights of termination increased by four seconds. Well, you know, that's Eh? But it already the good thing with this is that her rights already lasts a pretty decent amount of time for crit rate, personally. Why? Because Cryo is already strong. And for crit rate, you don't need that much, especially because Blizzard Strayer, that's not normally a problem, but I do wish it was changed. Solves a little bit of energy recharge, just a little. 
that's all right. Oh, look at that. Decrease physical resistance? Now she really belongs in a physical team. You can use her now. Like, same with Jean. Right here, C5, C4. Animal resistance shred. Crazy. Incoming damage is decreased. That's just nice to have. Attack speed and... <laughs> Like you can run main DPS Nahida. I think the five stars are really good examples of your play styles can all of a sudden change. Ayaka, Ayaka C6 is massive. Shenha C6 is massive, right? Because it changes the way they can be played. And I wish all of, all of their, you know, constellations did something for that. But that's not the case. And sometimes it's straight upgrades, you know, that's okay. Right, but come on. You need to make the character at least, like, passable first before saying, oh, you need const- Like, the second you say, you need Constellation X to play a certain character, that character has been poorly designed. The kit's just not good. That's just my opinion, though. <laughs> Alright, what else is there to do? There's a little bit left, I think. Oh, Serena Teapot, I forgot about that. Yeah, it's just unfortunate. That's just what it is. It's just been getting worse as it's been going on. Like, the reason why I wouldn't complain about Rosaria is because she already does enough. Her cooldowns are short. Etc. Why I don't claim about Diona being Diona is because, you know, base Diona is already really good. Why don't I complain about Singcha? And you, you would notice that a lot of the things I'm saying are characters that were released on release or very close to release. Why? Because they were just designed better. They were designed without the context, and part of me curses the fact that we made this context so mainstream that the designers are now playing around it. They're purposely limiting ICD. They're purposely limiting, you know, how many times Nahida can proc. They're purposely limiting how many times Deha can proc. Right? It's like, why? <laughs> you don't need to do that. Characters from Monster Lu Wei were good. Yeah. Yao Yao's good. She only gets better with constellations, but as just a like she's perfectly fine at C zero. You don't need her to be a higher constellation to use her in a team. Versus a character like Farzan, what the hell? Versus a character like Candace, what the hell? Is she's kind of usable. But if your option is so easily replaced by a different character that probably does something different but just results in better stuff, why bother? Why does Candace need to exist if Bennett's gonna do the same thing but better? For example, right? That's just a hypothetical. We're way behind schedule. Egg. <laughs> and I really don't know what to do. Wait, have I done my parametric yet? I have. Oh, you know what I should check? If I bought my cards, then like, why roll the characters at that point aside from what else free to place don't have a reason to? Yeah, it's just waifu material. Four stars are arguably harder to get than five. Another good reason. It's like... Part of me is like... We're not at... I'm not asking for a character released to be game-breaking. I'm not asking for them to be even good, right? I'm just asking them for them... I'm just asking for them to be usable. Like, Farzan's not usable at C0. I, I'm sorry, she's not. In all honesty, she's not. She has way too many issues to be usable in, like, an actual comp. It's way, it's much better. Oh, whatever. And welcome back, new gamer! 
Let's see. Oh, I don't have. I, don't, I can't duel anyone. It's already out, and I've already finished everyone here. Oh, and the other event is over as well. Anything in the shop? I cannot buy anything in the shop. Oh well. <laughs> yeah, they're just for sales, and it bothers me, so... Yeah. Holy shit, it's 7.30. Okay, I think it's time for me to actually pack up and skedaddle. I've been streaming for seven hours, holy shit. I can feel my voice, it's dying. <laughs> Alright. Let's take a look to see at who we can raid. Raid my nan? No. <laughs> no, I will not be doing that to your nan. Yo, Five Nights at Freddy's? Crazy. And Minecraft. He'll let you in? <laughs> nah, it's okay. Then it's not really a raid, then I'm gonna say it. You gotta break down the door. <laughs> Let's go with... She needs a new door. <laughs> Ah, uh, Chris is playing Minecraft. <laughs> it looks like they're just messing around right now, aside from doing actual construction. Oh man, he's been going for four hours. Oh, someone died! <laughs> That's funny. Okay, I think we'll be raiding uh, Chris. Chris Talus VT. So... Slash raid. Alright. So if you are subbed, you take that... If you're not subbed, you take that message, and if you are subbed, you take this message. I'm still annoyed that the vibrating wheeze is not in the thing. You know what I mean? It's not. It's. I can't use it. Ah, pain and suffering. The vibrator rave. The the vibrator wheeze. It's not working. I can't laugh while shaking. This is ridiculous. <laughs> but yes, thank you for stopping by for my belated birthday games. <laughs> I know not I didn't fully do everything that I wanted to, I wanna say, because I also wanted to play Portal, but I got way too invested in Yu-Gi-Oh! I got really invested in Genshin for a bit, so thank you, thank you so much for those of you who stopped by. And for the follows, the subs, and the raids. Thank you so much. Bye bye, everybody. Let's go raid. If you lie on the grass, you can feel the heartbeat of the world. 